All right, Shalom, one, Shalom. One. All right, we spent the camp today. This is the Lions Day camp. All right, coming with you uh, with a with a lesson. Uh, me and I are gonna miss the Babylon, but uh, first I would like to give all praises and glory to the Most High in His proper name. Call, call, call. A lion, a lion. La, Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Ha, Ka, Ka, Kudai, Ma, Ma, Ma. All right, uh, I got Alvaron, the brother. He's here today. Double honors to the elders and apostles, GMS and Solomon. Uh, double honors to the elder of this cap as well, of R1. God, right? uh, God, God. And also, salutations to the Ikeen that's pushing us too diligently around the four corners of the earth, man. Right. We're just going to tell a small lesson, dealing with uh, fleeing, fleeing the pleasures of this world, you know, because we are in the times of, 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 of the kingdom being at hand. We are in the times of, of the salvation of the Jews, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right? Get ready to be taken out of this place, man. Destruction is getting ready to come to this place, man. A lot of, a lot of events is coming to the shores of America, man. And if you're not seeing it, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna see it in due time, man. It's, 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 it's coming out, man. These prophecies are being implemented, all right? You have me outside is bringing these judgments upon this place, man. So you just got to just gotta keep watch, man. Learn how to be circumspect. Learn how to focus on the prize, man. The prize of the Yahweh Shemiah shot. You know what I'm saying? Not not focusing on this. Uh, 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 not putting your mind in this place, man. Because you put your mind in this place, you're gonna be destroyed with this place, man. You know what I'm saying? Just being straightforward with that, man. But we just got a few scriptures, and then we hope it's edifying, man. Uh, Mike, Mike, this is Micah, chapter two, verse ten. It says, Arise, ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. So it said, Arise. It says, Depart. It says, This is not your rest. This is not, this is not our rest, man. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, the Father and the Son. All right. The scriptures, that, that, that is our rest, man. All right. Putting your trust and your faith in, in, in this place is not going to suffice you in the day of trouble, man. You know? So, again, you can read it in the last part of the book of the show. It says, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sword, destruction. So it's polluted, man. It's not, it's not good for you, man. It's not good for your spirit. It's not good for your soul, man. You know? And it's going gonna, it's gonna to destroy you if you continue in the past of that, of that mindset of being in this world. Being, 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 the, um, being a part of the society, all right? In this system, put your trust and your faith in this society and in the, in the system is gonna cause you to go astray, man. You know? Especially with this money, because what the scripture is saying in first Timothy, uh, I think um, um money is the root of all evil, man. When you find the love of money is the root of all evil, man. And, and Jake, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans love money, man. Like, like your brother was saying, they love money. You know, I gotta get the paper, I gotta get back to the bag, I gotta chase this money. If anything that you have to chase, reality check. It's running away from you if you got to chase it. <laughs> Secondly, like the brother was saying, um, this place will destroy you with a sword of destruction. That's a that's that's a physical destruction, but it's also being a spiritual it'll, destruction. It'll, be, it'll destroy you. To like, it'll destroy you, and it'll cause a rift and or a wedge or a gap between you and your Hawaii Yahweh. This is Isaiah chapter thirty. Verse 1, woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. So, Khan, man, as the brother was speaking on, man, woe to the rebellious children, man. And who is that rebellious children? The so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? So, with that being said, woe means destruction too, as well. Why? Because they're not taking heed. To the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right. So with that being said, as, as, as scripture say, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to number you to the sword according to Isaiah 65 and 12. All right. Verse 2. It says that woke to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. So come on, man. Hey, that's what two-thirds of our people doing, man. Trust in the shadow of Egypt, you know. Hey, uh, 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 trusting in the God of this world, all right? Job 9 and 24. Uh -huh. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Who's running the world right now, man? Esau. Uh -huh. 
All right. So with that being said, hey, that's who uh, uh, mainly over here in America right now, man. These Edomites. And guess what? Hey, scripture says you and your father the devil. All right. But I'm talking about what came with Esau. All right. Hey, uh, 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 then you have uh, 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 two thirds of our people that's falling out from God of this world. Man. All right. So guess what? Hey, that reverts right back to them. Why? Because they want to see this place continue, man. All right. And, 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 what, and what that put them in, they put them in a place of being alienated. Like, like the, uh, the, 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 brother, the brother was just saying, alienated just being, being separated from the most high, man. You know, they, they, they pretty much separating themselves from the powers, man, by finding out these abominations, man. No, and they choose to cover themselves with these abominations. Mm -hmm. They choose to cover themselves with things that are not of Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh shot. So that drives, like I said, it creates enmity. It creates a, 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 a static. It creates a separation, like the brother was saying. You can't get close to the Most High pay for chasing, chasing money, getting to the bag. The Most High don't care about none of that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 14 and verse 3. Riches are not comely for a niggard. <laughs> and what should an envious man do with money? He that gathereth by defrauding his own soul gathereth for others that shall spend his goods riotously. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. Right. So you, you run after the, uh, the, the fashions of this world, all right, the God of this world, all right, the, 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 the ordinance and the, of men. All right, and, and, and the Lord is not uh, about that, like the brothers just stated. All right, so it's all a waste, man. You're running a rat race to gain riches in a society that's not for you, in a society that calls you three fifths of a man, you know, in, in a society that just utterly castrates anything that's righteous. All right, so if you run after anything and you build and gain anything here in this in this kingdom, all right, it's all gonna be for, for waste and for, for not anyway. All right, so, so why put that uh, burden upon your soul? You know, in, in other words, why put that burden upon your soul, man? Riches is not beautiful for a niggard, man. Even no. though the scriptures say, man, as uh, 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 long as uh, a rich man's heart is, 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 is towards the Lord, man. You know, so your focus has to be towards your Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah and not the rudiments of this world. This is Haggai chapter 1, verse 6. It says, he have sown much and bring in little. He eat. But have not enough, ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. All right, man. And, and that's, that's that's a point, too, man, because our people are chasing after this money. It's just not, it pretty much chasing after vanity, man. You know, it's, it, you know, um. Uh, Two, two, two thirds of our people are pretty much chasing out the fantasy, man, because it's uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna uh, keep you st uh, stable, man. Because you know? the system is set up against you, man. Oh, That's why I says it, it's, it's like filling a hole with bags, man. Oh. Filling a, a, a bag with holes, oh, yeah. man. You, you a do big all, ass hole in it too. Like, yeah, you do all this working and you do all this paper chasing oh. and being of this world, yes, yes, and then when you go to look in your bag, you didn't do all the work that you did, and you only accumulated a small amount. Then you gotta put that back game to your bills. You, you, you pretty much, you know what I'm saying? At square one. You gotta put the ball. Done. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt. Done, man. It said, uh, don't don't lay yourselves treasures here, like the brothers were just uh talking about. You work day in, day out, and barely have enough for food. If you have enough, you can have probably like a hundred or two hundred dollars more. You know what I'm saying? Now probably suffice you for another two weeks where you have to go back 40 hours a week on that same job to get the same $200 extra when you got to pay them bills, man. So, and, and the more hours you work, the more they take. God. You know what I'm saying? I just found out that different states got different tax laws, God. man. They take out different uh, uh, different incomes, of, yep. yeah, kind of different percentages of money. That shit is fraud. <laughs> yeah, taking sure. taking money, taking the, the, the people's money, man. All right? And it says, and where are these with these break through and still, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, where thieves do not break through nor steal. God, if I may add on, she said thieves, thieves break through and steal. You know what I'm saying? If you have, if you obtain the, the 
the, the, the righteous word of the whole by y'all shout the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. No man can't take that from you, man. You know, but you know, with this, with this modern this modern day money or whatnot, you know, it's it's easy for a man to come in and take that from you, man. Come on. Walk up to you and take it out your pocket, man. Come and also, if I may add on, man, that ultimate thief when the Lord Yahweh shall return, man, with those missiles talked about in Joel chapter two. Hey, all that shit, like the brother said earlier, it's not gonna suffice. Why? Because it's gonna be burned up, man. Hey, huh. so with that being said, Second Peter uh chapter three, hey, what man of all of holy conversation or ease to be in and all uh godliness, man, roughly paraphrased. So the only things you should be storing up down here is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, Isaiah 33 and 6 says, Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times, man. The strength is thy salvation. You know? The strength is thy salvation, man. You know? Having have, have faith and hope in that salvation, man. Not not this money, not this not these riches of the world, man. You know? Because Jake, he only he only wanna he only wanna trust in what he can see. Versus rather what he can't see. He doesn't understand that what he can't see is ten times more valuable than what he can see. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 2, and verse 6. Oh, oh, come forth and flee from the land of the north, said the Lord. For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of heaven, said the Lord. Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. So come on, when the Lord said, oh, oh, flee from the land of the north, he means it spiritually. Like the scriptures say, uh, 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 um, in what, Revelation chapter 18, uh, what was it? Uh, be, be yeah, spiritual. Yeah, yeah, God, uh, we would have healed Babylon, but it wouldn't be healed. Uh, 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 so we are to flee. We are to flee. We are to flee this place spiritually, man. It's not no fleet doctrine like GOCC, all right? Uh, Trying to uh, uh, maneuver the people because in Amos it says, uh, "What? Hey, you flee from a, a, a forest and a lion and a bear and a bear meet you." You know, roughly paraphrasing. Or you get into that safe haven of a house and the serpent will, will bite you. Now you got that die slow. So ain't no running from the judgment of the Lord. You know, ultimately. All right? You know, so that's why it's imperative that you you, you free your mind. Yourself, all right? Out of this place. This is, uh, somebody got Jeremiah 51? Yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah, I got This one's part of the lesson. Uh, oh, Jeremiah, you want me to bring it out right now? Yeah, come on, go ahead. All right, Jeremiah, 50, uh, this is the book of Jeremiah 51, what verse? Verse 6. All right, verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. So it says flee from the, from the midst of Babylon, man, a.k.a. America, man, a.k.a. Sodom and Gomorrah, shit. You know, this is not our rest, man. Y'all about some y'all shots giving us clear instructions to, to flee from this place, but not from not physically, like the like the Akim was just speaking about, but spiritually, man. Spiritually fleeing from this from the, um, the chains of darkness, man. Uh, uh, this is the book of Revelation, backing up the statement I made. Uh Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers for, for our sins, and you receive not of her plagues. So come, man, the Lord is calling for his people to leave. Latinos and Native Americans to flee out of the midst of Babylon, man. Come on, so you don't have to partake of her plagues, man. That's the Ooh, point, yeah, right? Man. Because if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, you can repent. You have repentance, man. You can have your uh, your slate white clean through the blood of your house shot, all yeah. right? And you can be saved from the said perils, man, from, yeah. from doing so. Pretty simple. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, this is uh, Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So come on, man, as it stated in Jeremiah 51, man, hey, flee out of the midst of Babylon. Why? Because it's the time of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah's vengeance, man. So with that being said, also, hey, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Why? Because that great spirit that we're in is slowly but surely closing up, man. So once that time, hey, do close, hey, you're not going to be able to call upon the Lord. Yeah, well, bless you, yeah, what's up? Hey, that's when that Judges 10 and 13 kick in. Go and cry to the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation, man. So it's just so like the brother was speaking on, man. Hey, mentally flee out of the midst of Babylon. Spiritually flee out of the midst of Babylon, if you will, man. You know why? Because once again, it's not our rest. Hey, it shall destroy you with the sword of destruction, man. 
Why? Because hey, also in uh 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 uh, uh Isaiah thirty two as well, man. Because hey, you're going to be destroyed. Hey, with a sword of destruction. Why? Because you're just trusting in the shadow of this place, man. Egypt, you know, and, and, and trusting in the shadow of, of of Pharaoh's power. His 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 strength is going to going to be your confusion. His downfall is going to be the confusion of our people because their mind is caught up here. They 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 don't know how to speak about anything other than Babylon juice and and Babylon. Uh, 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 crap that they have accumulated here because it goes back to what the philosophy man oh. that strong that strong delusion those unclean spirits came out of the mouth like frogs man being that a deception all right the, the, the military the money right and and mainly the religion all right 325 ad uh the council of nicaea right where they started mainly catholicism which was branched off the all these type of philosophies and wayward doctrines but but the Bible is true, all right? You read it as a history book, you know? Wow. It's a quick precept. And it's just, just getting back more on topic on, hey, just the riches, all right? Because, hey, just going back into that philosophy, man, of, of running after the fashions of this world and trying to gain things in a society that's about to end real soon. Wow. And this is First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 7. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and remnant, let us be there with content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. You know, so that's just a clear cut scripture and a point of how you can get caught up into the, the dust and the confusion of this place. Babylon being the place of confusion, the land of confusion, filled up wayward philosophies for people to run up into and, and, and to. Uh, they ultimately destroy themselves and kill themselves, man. Yeah. 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 Right. Now, this is that 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So come, man, and that's, and that's it. The Lord tell us, you know, uh, love not the world because the thing that, that's in it is it, meant to pollute you with a sword of destruction. You see what I'm saying? Philosophy and all that type of thing. Uh, 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 if I also may add on too, man. Hey, uh, hey, what 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 does this world push, man? Money, man. Hey, just like Esau, once again going back to Job nine and twenty four. All right, hey, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right, and Esau's firstborn son name is Eliphaz, man, which means my God is a fine gold. And you on the back of the coins and on the back of the dollar bills, in God we trust. All right, it's hey, it's kind of crazy that it's on the money, man. Hmm. Which shows you that's their God. That's what they trust in, man. That's their blessing. All right, the fatness of the earth, you know. Their God is the gold, the oil, and the dollar. Oh, God. Acting you know? <laughs> <Activism. laughs> And drugs. <laughs> but, but what's ours, though? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how about some y'all shots toast by true words, man? You know, that, that's, our, that's our riches, man. You know? That's how we eat. That's how we drink, you know? Ooh, peace up. Uh, this, Wait. this is Sirach, chapter 31. start from verse 6. It says, Gold hath been the ruin of many and their destruction was present. Alright? A self-explanatory, man. Gold hath been the ruin for many and their destruction was present, man. Alright? So with that being said, hey, just in the day's time, you know, hey, just like, hey, rich is not going to profit in the day around. You're going to have people out here, oh yeah, take this, take that. Nah, man, it's not going to be of any value in that day, man. Why? Because it's going to be complete chaos. You're not going to be able to spend this shit anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's only value with the value because that's what the value that the people place on. Gone. So in that time, hey, it's not going to be worth anything. Hmm. What's the value that the Lord put on? Gone, you know? man. Because the true money is not even the money of this world. The fiat currency, the monopoly money that they play with. The true money is gold. It's Gone. silver. Gone. You know, which ultimately belongs to the Lord. Gone. Hey, prime example, when that asteroid uh, flew over a couple weeks ago, it was a goddamn piece of the asteroid that fell, man. And they say a oh, black diamond, and they say it's worth millions. Man. Hmm. You know, hey, they place that uh, price tag on it, you know? All right. Verse 7 of uh, Sirach chapter 31, it says, It is a stumbling block uh, to them that sacrifice unto it, and every fool shall be taken therewith. So come, man, it's a stumbling block to every uh everyone that uh, uh, sacrifice unto it, man. Uh -huh. You know, this gold, man. Hey, you know, you got some people that take this stock market shit serious, man. Uh -huh. Hey, matter of fact, like Steve Harvey. Hey, man, we on the West Coast, man. On the East Coast, stock market open up at 930. What the hell are you doing up sleep? What you doing sleep, man? Shit. Hey, people out here making millions while you down here sleep, man. 
So hey, it's three hour differential, all right, from the east and the west coast, man. So that let you know, see, that's where all they sleep going to. All right. Just to add on to that, the scriptures also it speaks about how uh, watching for riches consume the flesh. You know? In that same chat. Yeah, that's I got one more. I got one more. Okay. All right. And, and, and to the point right here that the brother was speaking on, man. Uh, Sirach chapter thirty-one, verse eight. It says, "Blessed is the rich. Blessed is the rich that is found without blemish and have not gone after gold." All right. And that's the rich that we want to be, man. Hey, uh, uh, it's talking about in Revelations, man. Hey, I know that poverty, but thou art rich. How are we rich? With knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Of the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, man. With the true gold, all right? The true gold that's going to suffice in that time. You think yeah. of the, the, the rich, the quote-unquote, which would be wealthy or rich in, in the scriptures, like an Abraham or a Lot, all right? They weren't running after the riches, all right? It was just their lot. And they're, they're stead, man, uh, you know? And they were humble in it. You know, so ultimately, hey, it's not, it's a balance, man. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, all right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's it's not about being poor or being broke, all right? You got to get your daily bread. You got to maneuver through this, this hell of this society, mm -hmm. all right? You got to, you know, work. I mean, man don't work, you don't eat. That's the scriptures say, all right? But, hey, as long as your heart is towards the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing first, man. We work for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah before we work and run after anything else in this realm. That's good. All right, man. Got a precept. Uh, <clears throat> this is Proverbs 22 and 5. Talk to you. 23 and 5. This is, Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For certainly riches make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle towards heaven. So just like the lesson goes into, flee ye out of the midst of Babylon. Love not the things of this world. Well, putting your mind or having your mind on money or setting your mind upon riches, that is with not eventually, that money or those riches will leave eventually. That's why it says, will you set your mind or your thoughts upon riches, which is not, for they certainly make themselves weak, meaning it's guaranteed for money to run out and go away. Come on, man. Hey, if I may add on, hey, that's why our, our people are, man, they so-called love money so much, but they don't look into the depths of it, man. You know, hey, the dollar depreciates every day. But our people wouldn't understand that. They would, if they if they, if they looked into the money, they would understand the uh these prices hiking up every day, man. Uh, they would understand these things, but yet they don't. Or they feel like they just have to go get more money. They feel like they have to go out here and make more money, but that's gonna cause inflation to go even higher, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, shit, you know? Oh, I was gonna say we sitting there with the gas prices right now, shit. Hmm. Well, shit, that shit was just like three nineteen last week. That bitch like three forty six right now, man. Hey, because we're inflation. Oh. All right, and it's going to uh, hyperinflation now. All right, which is what happened a couple years ago in, in Venezuela. All right, when they Good. set up their blockchain Ooh. currency. All right, so Ooh. you had uh, a talks this week of Russia. All right, proposing to the, the central banks, which is the Federal Reserve, the right, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, right, these uh, families, the wicked, right, on the poster, that that they they want to uh, uh, control blockchain and the Bitcoin system. Man. So they already showing you that. It's already set up, and that's what's going to coincide with the MOTB, Revelations 13 and 15. Hey, con, con, you know, hey, and I just go back to the brother point, too, man, how that, how that money get wings and fly away, too. All right, so they were just saying, expect the big crash in the crypto world, man. Hey, that way, so the feds can bring in their uh, uh, form of crypto, all right? Yeah. So that way, can everybody can get on that, get on their trail, you know? And regulate it, ultimately, because <laughs> they're going to start to tax all the cryptocurrency. So the right. cryptocurrency is going to be just like your main source of money. All right, the feds will have control of that. They will have, they will be able to have insight and see and, and tax you dollar for dollar, man. Just like they do your paper dollar. Uh -huh. So just going back to Venezuela and they downfall the day uh, uh, dollar, right? And they set up for their uh, virtual currency. All right, hey, the, the dollar bill was used for toilet paper. Man. Hmm. Uh, you know, you had you had you had articles where a dollar, the, they, they they had the, the dollar bills rolled up like tissue. And it was it was it was good for toilet paper. Man. Uh, and that's man. what we coming into, man. The, the, the dollar bill is going to be. Just good as toilet paper. It's gonna be worth nothing. The uh, they was making purses and shit out of the money, man. You know, different merchandise, all right. That way they can have set up their barter system with the money, man. So they weren't using the actual money to sit there and trade with. They were actually trading with the money, not for money, but with money, you know. Trading this money purse, this this purse made of money, dollar bills, all right, for for a shit uh, uh orange too, you know. All right. And also another thing that happened in Villa Soil, I want to say around about 2016, man, uh 
up. But when, while the economy was collapsing, all right, hey, guess what happened? The, the gas was cheap, man, as it was here a while ago. Dirt cheap. But with gas, cheap gas is a sign of a failing economy, man. A crashing economy, all right? So as you can see, hey, America's on that downfall, man. You know? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 12, verse 13. And it reads, They have sown wheat, which shall reap thorns. They have put themselves to pain, but shall not profit. Come on, man, all that investing that they're doing into the stock market, the S&P, the Dow, uh, even putting in the cryptocurrencies, uh, the currency. Uh, they got uh, the NFTs, too. Putting so much money in those things, man, and, and it's crashing. And it says, uh, but shall not profit. And they shall be ashamed of your revenues because of the fierce anger of the Lord. All right, it's going to be ashamed of your revenues, man. When it comes time, it comes time for that uh, for for all this stuff to uh, go away, like the brothers were just speaking about, all they keep depreciating each day and each day, day in day, day out. All right, it's gonna it's no real value. All right, as soon as it made public that there's no real value of it, everybody's gonna throw it away. They're gonna flip out. They're gonna flip out. It's gonna be the real life purge. <laughs> Jake gonna be the main one because he in Babylon, Jake don't have no mental stability. He got, he got mental instability, but when it come out of being stable mentally and spiritually, Jake don't got it. So when he can't get this green paper that they cut trees down to make, he gonna go crazy because he can't use some fake money to buy useless items. Uh, this is book of Isaiah chapter thirty one in verse. Six, turn ye unto him from turn ye unto him from whom the children of Israel have deeply revolted. For in that day every man shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which your own hands have made unto you for a sin. So come and in that day everybody gonna be throwing out their money, their gold chains, they you know what I'm saying, the idols and everything that they made for themselves. Just like the saying? prophets of Baal, man. Huh. You know, they would stay, they went to stabbing themselves, man. When, when, when Elijah showed them that it was nothing, nothing. Oh, you know, and their twist. doctrine was nothing. You know? Beating themselves up, crying oh. out and howling and nothing. And for literally hours, nothing happened. Hmm. Elijah, one time, and the Lord showed his power. Hey. Uh, 33 and 6, my fucking shot. Okay, well, in Isaiah 33, 6, it. it says wisdom and knowledge. Come on. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. It says, and wisdom and knowledge, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, is his treasure. So that, 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 that wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of the time. That's what's going to keep the people stable like the brother's right. talking about. Right. So the first thing these people, the first thing that's going to go from these people is going to be their mind, man. Mm. All right? They're going to be out of here, man. Mm. Just like, hey, the brother mentioned about the, 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 hey, the grinding shall cease, the mm. scriptures say, man. Right. You know, so when these people ain't going to be able to get their money and pay their bills and they going to lose their mind, man. I thought sure. about that, too, on the whole standpoint of the war on drugs. Right. You know, you got Biden out here trying to push... Thirty million dollars for crack pipe, crack pipe, <laughs> and stuff like that. You know, which 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 Esau runs the whole drug and put dropping that in our community. So wow. when they stop that, all the people minds go go, and, 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 and people go be whacked. It's obvious. You gonna see, you gonna see, you gonna see real Resident Evil zombies. The spirits they, created from vengeance. They are gonna run and they gonna take. They gonna uh, bow down to the new system. They gonna bow down to the new ball. Uh, all right, hey, uh, the, 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 the scripture. I was talking about. His, 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 he said. Um, he said that. that um, it said uh, pretty much like rubber paraphrasing, cry out to the God that you that you used verse verse you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, but, 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 but pretty much but uh your how about some y'all shots gonna say call out to those guys that you was worshiping that you was calling out, you know what I'm saying? This is Judges 10 and 13. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods, wherefore I will deliver you no more. So you're gonna be delivered no more, man. Hey, we're in a time of grace period right now. This, this is the time for you to, to repent, for you to get back right, for you to get on, on the right track before destruction comes. All right? Go ahead, huh? Verse 14, Judges 10. Go and cry to the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. So, hey, he said, let them deliver you in the time of tribulation, man. All right? Because our people are stiff net. They still are a rebellious nation. They still... You know, talking behind you, how about some y'all shot back still 
uh, falling out the Esau's ways, man. Still falling out the uh, the ways of tradition, man. You know, the uh, the uh, traditions of men. Going you know? down to Egypt for help. Con. Con. This is the book of James, chapter five, and verse one. Go to now, ye rich man, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments moth eating. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and, you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire, as ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. So come on, man, that, and that's the point. Uh, you uh, running in this rat race like the brother thought y'all brought up earlier, trying to heap treasures, uh, 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 heap, uh, heap treasures for this last day, but it's going to be a witness against you. You see what I'm saying? Because you didn't take the time to seek the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah. Time, man. Uh, uh, what they call it, prison planet, man. You might as well call it prison country over here too as well, man. Hmm. Uh, America, all right? Hey, the, uh, 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 the, the, the wardens of this prison, hey, the, uh, those elites, man. Hey, they, they heat together themselves, treasure for their last days, you know? So with that being said, hey, uh, 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 America's no longer, America is going to no longer be that, uh, 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 basically that whore, you know? To, 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 to bring in the customers to uh bring in that money as well, man. You know, as you can see right now, they're getting a new currency, all right, in order to take place of the uh USD, man. All right. You know, hey, you had Russia lost their petrol ruble a few years ago. All right, and if I'm not mistaken, they like the brother Thun y'all was speaking on, hey, they the ones that went in and backed up Venezuela, man. All right. And mm -hmm. also you had China that lost their uh 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 uh, uh, uh their currency as well, man. The uh, petrol you won, man. You know. So with that being said, everyone trying to tie ways, part ways with America, man, that USD, all right? Uh, because that US dollar is nothing but debt, and it's just nothing but a trap and a gin. And any country that's still using the dollar uh, and, and uh, uh, doing business in those dollars, when the dollar tanks, that's going to tank their economy. That's going to tank uh, uh, their infrastructure. So that's why these other nations are moving away from America, moving away from the dollar, doing bilateral deals. Huh. Doing deals between themselves rather than them between themselves and America. Huh. Huh. And within the people over here, man, you can see the dollar is just fucking going away, man. Because every store you just about to go in, hey, coin shortage, half yeah. exact change, or no cash at all, hey, credit or debit, you know? Huh. No cash back. Yeah. Hey, yeah, kind of. No EBT shit. Uh, I got to yeah, too. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22. But my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sought as children, and they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. So uh, just them taking the time, countless hours, just learning about the dollar, learning how, how it maneuvers, how the stock market works, uh, how to learn how the investment market works, how the housing market works. All that is no real profit. It's foolish. All right, it's folly, man. You know what I'm saying? They put in countless hours day in and day out even invest so much money into those, into these things, into these investments, these bonds, just to get nothing at the end of the day. All is going to fail. All right? That's set the scriptures. That's set the Lord. All right? And I'm going to bring out that Proverbs 3 and 13. All right? All right this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that get of understanding. It says, happy is the man that, that find the wisdom all right, and, and get understanding, man. That's what, we, that's what we should be seeking right now, man. Like, like the I always say, seek the, seek the Lord ten times more. You know, seek His face, seek Him now. Why He is, why he is near? You know. And this is the book of Saint John, chapter four and verse twenty-two. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship. The salvation is of the Jews. So the salvation is for you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, but you study, crucify the Lord afresh daily, man. By, by turning yourself away from the Lord, learning everything else but being an Israelite. You're turning back to your true nationality, your true heritage, you know? Want to be called everything under the sun other than being a child of the Most High, you know? This is uh, First John chapter 4, verse 5. This is First John chapter 4, verse 5. This is, they are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world. And the world heareth them. So for our people, they are of the world. For those who are caught up in, in, in being in the midst of Babylon, they are of the world, the world of Babylon. So when they speak, they only speak of worldly things. And people who have ears, of uh, worldly ears, are going to hear what they say. Verse 6, it says, We are of Yahweh, and he knoweth, and he that knoweth Yahweh heareth us. 
He that is not of Yahweh heareth not us. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Error. So like you said, we are of the Most High. We we have the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. So, so those that are of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah are going to hear what we say. But those that are of the world, they are not going to listen to what we say, even though we speak these things for their benefit. Telling them, flee out of the Mr. Babylon. Don't trust the riches of this place. They won't hear what we're saying. And that's how you know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Oh. And, 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 and that's also a, how scripture say, a, my sheep should hear my voice too, man. Hey, so if you're not under that pastor of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and you're not going to be able to obtain what the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is speaking, man. Oh. Also, too, like you got two thirds of our people as well, man. Hey, if you're, of the, if you're a part of the Lord's flock, hey, when these men are out here speaking, hey, you're going to, shit, you're going to obtain it to wise counsel, man. You're going to want to hear it. All right. It's the book of St. John, chapter 17 and verse 7. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them. Right. So ultimately we have received them. All right. If you can receive it, that's the point. And have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but of them which thou hast given me, that they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. So come, man, the sheep hear his voice, like the brother is saying. All right, and ultimately it's that trickle down, man, that, that train. All right, that, that ultimately, hey, that, that draws from the high priest being Yahweh Shah right now. All right, Yahweh Shah, all hey, right, all to, the, to his men. All right, the apostle Taha, the elders on down. All right, you know, you want to follow that sheepfold, you know, because that's ultimately who the Lord is dealing with, who the Lord is praying for. He's not dealing with everybody uh -huh. in the uh, whole world, the uh, oikumenic yes, sin, the oikumenic, the oikumenic sins. It's, the, it's that, that cosmos, man, that particular arrangement. You got it up. What the scriptures also say, uh, roughly paraphrase, it says, uh, our Israel is not Israel, you know. Uh, our, our Israel is not of Israel, you know. Because you got two-thirds of our people that's, that's still doing wickedly, you know what I'm saying. You got one-third of the, of the nation that's, that's doing righteous and 144,000 as well, man. But our people are, are still being stiffed at to this day. Come on, John, 8 and 44, man. They, they're of their father, the devil, all right. Uh, hey, shit, before it's too late, hey, scripture say, hey, the same as Lord after death by pain, man. So, uh, so if your ass don't get it now, you'll get it later. Right? <laughs> hey, just like a good analogy that I like to use, hey, Lord, y'all will watch me out with shock of pairs to trees, man. What you do with a forest when you want it to grow back slow? You burn it down, man. And that's what's going to happen with uh, two-thirds of the nation of Israel. Yeah, it's going to get burnt, man. You're going to come back purified, you know. And the law is written in your old forest, you know. As far as the gold, they can withstand that fire, man. And they're going to be pulled out of it, man, being that precious that precious metal, man. You know? Fine gold. That fine gold. So. This is the book of Second Edges, chapter 15, verse 47. Woe be, so like Woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked thy daughter in order, that they might please a glory of thy lovers, which have always desired to commit order with thee. Come. Thou hast. So like it, right? That's why the scriptures say, Why trim, trim is thou ways for society? Man? You know, so you can be like the heathen. All right, <laughs> to seek love, you know, so you can be like the heathen, be a part of his society when he can give a fuck about you, you know. So like it. Verse forty-eight: Thou have followed her that is headed in all her works and inventions. Therefore, saith Yahweh, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, to waste thy houses with the, with destruction and death. So like it. So kind. That's what's gonna happen. Ultimately, it's talking about Asia and all these other countries. That follow after America, you know, and they want to commit whoredom and fornication through what democracy and philosophy. God. You see what I'm saying? You got our people right behind them, following behind these same heathen when the Lord put us above these heathen in the first place. God. You see what I'm saying? You like the like the brother Thaniana said, said, why trim without ways to seek love? And that's going back to that Jeremiah 51 too, man. Babylon have been the golden cup in the Lord's hand, man. They made all the world drunken, you know. Hey, therefore the nations were mad, all right? That's why the nations were foolish. Why? Because they fell for the philosophies of, uh, of of Babylon, America, man. Hey, that's why they waking up, man. God. That's why Russia is, 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 is they not they're not blinded by America being at their back door playing around with Ukraine, man. Hey, God. <laughs> and also on top of that, hey, the, the brother I thought y'all speaking on the uh, uh Ukraine and Russia, 
North Korea just last night said they're coming to the aid for Russia because, hey, uh, what a defensive world for Russia, all right, dealing with America and uh, 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 Russia, man, over the Ukraine, man. You know, they said it wasn't fair. Why are you coming to their back door, all right, doing all this setting up uh, military, man? You know, so therefore, hey, that, 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 let the weak say I'm um, strong, or it's building up, man. And on top of that, hey, North Korea just launched a missile, a missile test, where they said a missile, uh, a missile can get over here and shake the whole earth, man. Mm-hmm. You know, which is symbolic and spiritual too as well, man. All right, the earth's to real to and fro like a drunk. All right. And the shot just to add on, like the brother was saying, Putin, he an Edomite, but he a smart Edomite. And he knows what's going on with America. Putin knows that America is using Ukraine as a tool to try to uh, uh, get a foothold so that because the Esau know that uh, uh, Russia is just a no. Anything about a bear, a bear will not attack you if you're not in its if you're not in the vicinity of its, of its uh, uh, territory. But if you get on the the borders of its territory or within its territory, that bear will tear you to shreds. Mm-hmm. And see the bear mean no. Mm-hmm. Uh, and see they're trying to gold. Uh, uh, Russia into a war, but Putin and his his representative Lavrov or whatever they know what's going on. They understand that. They play chess, and they play chess. And then on top of that, it was also, you know, so like it was also uh, uh, let it be known that uh, Putin himself have said it, and his, and his Lavrov, whoever that guy is, to Putin have said we don't have any intentions on invading Ukraine, but we do have intentions on defending ourselves. Should anything arrive? Hmm. Uh, hey, 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 Carl, man, we seeing, we seeing, we seeing these rumors of wars, man. We seeing these tensions from these other nations rising up, man. You know, especially with uh, the, the, the Ukraine and Russia and China, as well as North Korea. All right. Um, the scriptures talk about how all these nations gonna be rising up against America. All right. You know, ready to shoot at her, man. Well, I believe, I believe it speaks about that in, in Jeremiah, man. Oh, you got being the most shooter here. Come on, the Come on, man. You know, everybody's going to be in an array against Babylon, man. You know? And if you're a part of Babylon, you, you know, you're going you're gonna to fall with that. You know, you're going to be destroyed with that. Bitch. Bitch. T-O-C-C, hey, shit. Not fleeing Babylon uh, 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 physically, literally, you know? Hey, you want to flee mentally, man. Spiritually. Uh, this is the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 3. For we are the circumcision... Which worship Yahweh in the spirit, and rejoice in Yahweh Shah, and have no confidence in the flesh. All right, come on, man. Uh, no confidence in the flesh. No confidence uh, in, in the world, worldly things, man. You know what I'm saying we're not uh, uh, boasting of these riches, uh, especially uh, of America's uh, might, because you got some of our people who are joining the, uh, the, the military, go active and reserve. You know. I'm saying uh, putting their putting their time, all their time and, and, and money and effort into this place just for it to fall in and what in an hour, man. That's, it, that's what it says. Yeah, in the book of Revelations, man, it said it's gonna fall in an hour. It's been almost ten thousand hours for it to fall in an hour, man. <laughs> they literally took hundreds of years to build this place. The Lord gonna wipe it all out in one hour. You know, Jake, he's sowing basically into a house of cards. Uh-huh. A house of cards can be blown down. That's how easily a house of cards can be destroyed. And, and Jake, he has his mind here, uh-huh. so guess what? He, 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 is, he is investing in that house of cards. And he's going to uh, uh, be very disappointed when the Lord come knock that house of cards down. Uh-huh. Hey, as the brothers brought out earlier, man, you out of Mr. Babylon, man. Deliver your soul, all right? It's about your spirit. Being uh, protected and having a hedge around it and getting up out of this place. Because the flesh is going to perish, man. You know, or the flesh is going to be changed. All right? But you want to hope for it to be changed, man. Not for it to perish here in the, in the second death. This is James chapter 1, verse 13. It says, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end for the grace that, that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah, so you got to gird up your mind. You got to get your mind in the scriptures. You got to get your mind in, in on Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh and on the truth and what's right. You got to be sober. Being sober means you got to you're paying attention. You're looking to see what's going on. 
so that you won't be caught off guard. Uh, uh, hey, the hey, things the Lord about to bring, man, is going to catch these people off guard, and they're going to be whacked out of their damn mind, man. Really? That's that wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, man, the strangeness of the salvation of the Lord, man. Uh, you know, that divine intervention, all these things, they're not going to be able to wrap their head around, man. Why? Because they wasn't trying to learn of it, all right, while they had time, man. So when they see these things, they're going to be, they're going to be whacked out, man. Yeah, like the time they go, they're going to be weirded out. They, they don't think it's an alien invasion. They don't think it's, they don't think it's, it's, it's something going on, but what they don't understand is they see it, they, they're going to be looking at the, the, uh, the destruction of this matrix that Esau had built. They come, man. I, I, I was going to say, it's like about what that word, that word buried me. The buried me the guard, right? To cover up. To, cover to, up. to, to, to put on. Guard the mind, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the Lord say, put on the whole armor. Gird up thy loin like a man. Come on, man. And, and if you think about it, like the brother Thunyala was just speaking on, man. Hey, that's the build up that they have been given. You know, the whole area, raid every 51 thing and uh, uh, releasing the uh, 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 files of UFOs and whatnot, man. Hey, all the different UFO sightings, all right. Hey, you know, uh, different signals out there. Hey, man, hey, they're not aliens, man. That's the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, hey, and his angels, man. Project, oh. Project Blue Beam, oh, where you saw can uh, project stuff out there in the skies to make it seem like something, oh. all right, but it ain't, all right, you, you're not going to be able to decipher Ooh. the good from the evil, the real from the fake, man, Come. if you're not dwelling in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And also, see, they want everybody with virtual reality, you know, yeah. they going with this whole metaverse yeah. shit, yeah. you know. Oh, and that's that, that because last night I was riding home with these two jakes, you know, kind of worldly, uh, worldly jakes. And uh, he was telling me, he was like, yeah, man, uh, he was talking to the, the, the dude in the passenger seat. He was like, yeah, man, I, uh, I saw something flying in the sky. It wasn't no plane. That shit was going fast as fuck. Then it just stopped right there in the track and then it just disappeared. You see what I'm saying? And it caught my attention. You see what I'm saying? And it caused me basically, you know, to prophesy and tell him what he saw. You know what I'm saying? But when I was telling him what, what he saw, he wasn't really receiving. receiving it. You know what I'm saying? He was just, he sat quiet. It wasn't like in awe. He was thinking like, man, this nigga crazy. You know what I'm saying? Well, ultimately, they didn't have the spirit of discernment to understand what he saw. This is a quick precept. Get on camera up. Thank you. Definitely. Appreciate it. Thank you. The water up. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt. And where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. Right. Because the physical riches here is temporal, man. Anybody can take it from you. All right. Esau can tell you you're fired. That's your last day of work and, and feeding your family. All right. So hey, he, he got the he got the keys here in this realm, but ultimately what we doing hey, doing this work, all right. Uh, Referencing the Hawaba Shim Yahweh Sha, we we're we're building we're building that spiritual bank. All right. We're building that spiritual bank, you know, in the Samaritans where hey, Esau can't rob, rob and take nothing that we build up in there. You know, being a colonizer, being a thief, you know, he ain't he ain't going up in, in, into the Shemayans and, and, and taking that and naming that after himself. You know, the Lord forbid. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, 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 he can pull back to, um go to the water. Um Proverbs 3, and go down to verse 14. All right, God, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 14. For the merchandise merchandise of it oh, she is... Like it. She like it. Stop back at 13. All right, God, this is the book of Proverbs 3 and 13. Happy is the man that find the wisdom and the man that get of understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. Oh, man, it says, what says, it says the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is better than, uh, than fine silver, than fine gold, man. You know, you can't compare, you can't compare the riches of your house by some young shot words to these, to these riches of the earth, man. Good. You know, because these, these, these riches on this earth is canker, it's, 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 it's polluted, it don't have no weight, it don't have no substance. You know, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, uh, deliver you in a, in, a, in, a, in a time of trouble. At man. all, man. You know? Uh, no. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, I'm going to start at verse 13. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thy end is come. 
in the measure of thy covetousness. The Lord of hosts has sworn by himself, by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. So God, Babylon gonna come to a fall, man. All the works in Babylon gonna melt. You see what I'm saying? World War Three, hyperinflation, everything, you know what I'm saying? Uh the chariots, everything is gonna come and uh, Babylon gonna be filled with men. What's that that, that city without walls, man? And the riches go be evidence against this spot. But uh, we're prepared for it. It says what? It says um. Uh, what? When you got your mind here in Babylon. You got your thought process here in Babylon. The destruction and the fall of this place is going to be uh, uh quick. It's, it's going to it's going to I would say it's going to come unexpected because Jake thinks that you know and and, and the other nations. You know, but mainly Jake, he he swear that America is the best place to ever live, and this place is never ever gonna go down. <clears throat> how long do how long do kingdoms normally last before they get taken down? They be around for what, 100, 200 years, two fifty, and then they go down. Esau been running this shit been running for what, three three hundred and fifty plus years. Hmm. It's been going. It's time for this place to go. It's got to go down. That's why the title of this lesson is Flee Out of Mr. Babylon. Don't have your mind here because having your mind here is going to destroy you with a sword of destruction. And uh, going back to uh, Sirach chapter uh, 5, verse 7, when it says, And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of thy vengeance, man. So just like the brother uh, Nicole was saying, hey, so why are you sitting back thinking your ass safe and shit? Hey, that's when it's going to come in as a breach, man. Your ass is going to be caught up with the bullshit that you was trusting in, you know? So therefore, if you're not trusting in the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, hey, all hope is out the door for you, man. Hmm. Why? Because you're trusting in nonsense. You're trusting in folly. If you're not trusting in the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Why? Because that's the only uh, 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 way of salvation. That's the only way of protection. That's the only way of support that we have, man. You know? I got a, okay, I got a precept. I got to uh, read it real quick. Second, second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. All right, and it reads... It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty for your power to put them down of strongholds. And that's what we're doing. We're doing the work of the Lord by coming out on the highways and byways, all right, on the, on the, the Jeep and the concourse place to prophesy to our people to let them know what's going on, as well as we tear down these strongholds of this uh, of, of the heathens, man, or, 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 the, or, the, or the wicked, man, that's pushing this false philosophy to our people, man. And the physical dollar is carnal, man. Uh, and, and, and the scriptures say uh, money money is a defense. So it's a defense weapon, you can say, you know, in this realm. All right. So hey, our weapons, our warfare are not carnal in that sense as well, man, as far as hey, going after the dollar, going after the riches of this world. We go after the riches of the spirit, you know. All right. This is Corinthians 10 and 4. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through your power to pull them down. A stronghold. Come on, man. The weapons, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. Hey, so therefore, hey, the weapon that we're going to use is these scriptures, you know. Hey, uh, Hebrews 4 and 12, it says, For the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, man. Right. So therefore, hey, you can't get no more crisp and clear than that, you know? <laughs> So therefore, we don't need a gun. We don't need an actual sword. We got the sword right here. Oh. You know, a double-edged sword is going to cut your ass through physically <laughs> and spiritually, man. Why? Because, hey, the physical is going to come at the end when that destruction comes, when the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah bring that judgment. Man. Oh, God. Like the brother said, it's the sword. It's the money, you know? <laughs> it's the armor. The defense. Oh, God. <laughs> this, 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 go, go get it. Oh, <laughs> this, this, this is the wisdom. It didn't even keep you. Like even even in everyday situation, something happens, you might snap. Next day, you know, a scripture come across your mind and put you back in check. Huh. Shit, this mm -hmm. is our foundation. Huh. This is our rest. You know, this this is how we this is how we uh pursue our lives with you know with the scriptures, man. You know, right. and this foundation won't be destroyed. Unlike this Babylonian foundation that our people have their minds in, we don't want to have their minds on the foundation of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai. This foundation ain't going nowhere. Matter of fact, this foundation is going to fill the whole earth. From generation uh, to generation. Uh, forever. Come. Uh, 
This uh, Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 7, backing up the brothers. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of their revelings. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation, man. And that's the thing, man. We, we are the people with uh, the Lord's heart and uh, with the Lord's law in our heart. You see what I'm saying? Coming out here week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of this sinful kingdom, Babylon the Great. So we're not to be afraid of uh, the, the stuff that they come with, the, the martial law, World War Three, because we know that we're standing on, upon that, that strong rock, that high tower, that high tower, which is uh, Yahweh Shah. Come you know on, man. Hey, and just like Yahweh Shah said, man, when those soldiers were in you wouldn't be here if it wasn't of my father, man. So therefore, the only reason that you're here is because my father sent you here, man. You know, which is a form of prophecy. And that, that being said, shit, yeah, shit, because you got to be here, you got to be here, because I got to go through it, man. You know, and we got to go through it. Why? Because that's for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, to show his power, man, his greatness, man. And that's whether the outcome of anything, whether we die or live, man, whether he exalt us or whatever the case may be, his power is still going to be exalted. Why? Because if we die within those times, man, hey, we're most definitely going to come back again, you know, which is a, a representation of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, showing power, or if he lift up that standard, Hey, that's him showing his power as well, man. And that's that's what's gonna happen in these times. That standard Done. is gonna be lifted, man. Because we already died and died over again and came back, man. We Done. we not we not going into slavery again. Done, you man. know this is that's this the last hoorah, man. Hmm. You got very few prophecies left, and that's it. Done. You know, so it's, it's, there's no more death, man. We seeking uh, we seeking salvation, man. And never change, change, man. Done. Not, not all left. men <laughs> shall die, as the book of Corinthians state, man. Done. But shall Done. be changed. Man, that's a quick precept. This first Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 6. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. Right. Because this place is going to come to naught. This is going to be all for nothing and for an ensample of what not to be, you know, or unrighteousness. But we speak the wisdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which Yahweh ordained before the world unto our glory, man. Right. You know, the uh, Allah Hayim, you know, the, the powers, you know. So ultimately, it's not for everybody. You know, that's why everybody can't get it on this side. You know, it's, 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 it's to provoke them to jealousy, all right, as well as the people who crucified the Lord afresh from being saved out of that first Egypt and, and, and not wanting to be saved out of that first Egypt. You know, two-thirds of our people are stuck in that lot today to be repaid back from that that time. You know, just as Esau is going to have to pay back from all his crimes in, in, in the past time. You know, so and we, we praying to be of the hopeful elect, you know, as we've been called to this truth, you know. Uh, we have our minds in the house of the house of not the world. Come. All right, I got to preach something. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24. Uh, verse 30, 35, it says, um, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. All right. So basically what the brother was uh, speaking about before, man, he said, uh, you know, kingdoms come and go. It was uh, usually two, 250 years or so. This one has been about 350 years plus. All right. But this one, this one's going to be wiped away in an hour, man. But the Lord's words have been here ever since the Lord had died 2,000 years ago. All right. His words will never pass away. All right. This is the light. This is the way. All right. This is our history, man. And it's still here to this day, man. All right. But yet, hey, while our history being here, hey, two-thirds of our people don't want to take heed to it, man. You know, they're constantly trying to find a way. But when that way is presented to them, they don't want to take heed, you know. Going back to Romans, uh, uh, what it is, uh, uh, 10, man, or uh, Romans 9, Slack, you put me for Rome, where David was praying, is let the table be made of snare, you know? So with that being said, anytime they try to bow their head down and try to understand these scriptures, it's not for them, they're not going to get it, man, you know? But yet, you got the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, that reaching out to you through the mouth of his prophets, trying to tell you the way to, uh, 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 to go, yet our people don't want to take heed, man. So that's why the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, it, it, it's turning up this year as Apostle God did the year the Lord Yahweh the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah turning up, man. You know, this is Proverbs 21, verse 13. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself 
but shall not be heard. All right, man. That's, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a terrible thing to have, man. To be in a time of trouble, in a time of affliction, and not to have your prayers be heard from the, from the most high, man. That, that's, that's scary, man. That's why we out here on the highways and byways doing the work of, a, of an evangelist. That's why we doing it wholeheartedly, man. So we can have a day, have a time of uh, a covering, man. In that time of in that time of trouble, man. No. Verse 17. It says, He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. Oh man, so you, you put no trust in. In, in these uh these philosophies of, 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 of the world, all right. Put no trust in man, all right. This is what it says: He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. So you're gonna be a poor man if you keep putting your trust in your in your hope in these things, man. All right, like like, like the alchemists been saying the whole day, man. You know, it's not it's not gonna uh suffice you in a, in a time of trouble, man. You know, and it says: He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. So having all this lavish living. You know, having all the having having the having the cars up on twenty fours, or or, or hmm. having that charger, or or or, or that um, yes, sir. Uh, uh, whatever kind of car that Jake be into, that think that's the car to have to be rich or to look rich, living lavishly, having your mind here. Guess what? You're gonna become poor, man. Spiritually and eventually, that will actually take away your actual physical money. You wine and dining women. I want to say the other word, but we're going to keep it kosher. Uh, wine and dining women all the time. Guess what? You ain't going to have no money. You always say, hey, you, you, you caught up in the subscribing to, to OnlyFans, these chicks. That's a bill every month. They suck you to the God, they suck you till you dry. <laughs> hey, and, and it's like a little word of saying that you that go, uh, 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 you got to miss funds and stack funds, man. You know, hey, not too much of anything, but hey. You got to use that sometime, man. Hey, you got to miss out on some of this folly sometime, man. You know, hey, use that use that money to, you know, hey, signs, whatever the case may be. Convert that money towards the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shem, man. But, yeah, you got two-thirds of our people, hey, use money where ain't it profit none, man. You know? And that's when the Lord will give you more because he know you will do right by it. God. He, he know you will get it out to his people. You know, uh, uh, you will divide it accordingly, you know? Just like Abraham and Lot, you know, they, 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 they chose to take one part of the land and i'll take over here you know it, it wasn't a greed or in, like an envy spirit uh, as well uh, uh, like scripture said false balance is an abomination in the sight of the lord you see uh, what i'm saying and jake they they off balance man it's all, it, it, they far to the left man they're far to the left man. They, their deeds have surpassed the wicked uh, they have know? become more wicked than the wicked <laughs> now, how do you out wicked somebody that was designed to be wicked <laughs> we were designed to be righteous that show you, man, that hey, we're, 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 we're the Israelites, man, according to the scripture. We the salt of the earth, man. You know, Jake is the former of all things, you know, the scriptures say, man. So even when it comes to wickedness, they're great in that. Yeah, hey, I just whispered that down here, though. It says the former, the former of all things, meaning guess what? We built it. This, this, this is, this is like, like I said, this is our shit. Everybody else, we just, you know, low, they just, they just, we'll say they rent. And our people, the only people that pay to 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 whore themselves out, hmm. to that they pay the money or pay to to, to be wicked. They're the hmm. only people, our people, the only people on the planet paying to be wicked, paying to be destroyed. And this is a quick interjection just to land back what the brothers just stated. And it's the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-two and three. But thus saith the Lord: Ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Because you've been purchased by Yahweh Shah's blood, man, the blood of the Lamb. All right? So you're going to be redeemed without money. There's nothing this devil can hoarder up. He can gain all the riches in the world and all the gold and hoarder it up in Fort Knox and all, man. He's not going to be able to give that and render that to the Lord for, 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 your, for, your, for your captivity, man, and him not to pay for it, man. The book of uh, Exodus 21 and 16, I believe, we're going to be found in this devil hands, man. He's going to be caught red-handed, quite <laughs> literally. <laughs> this, is, this is verse 20 of uh, Proverbs 21. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wine, but a foolish man spendeth it up. One more time, huh? 
It says, there is a treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a fool, foolish man, spends it up. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a desire to be, it's a, it's a, it's a what? It's it's a, it's a, it's a, it says, there is treasure to be desired. Right. right. Go ahead. And oil in the dwelling of the wise. And that oil is, 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 is a, a, a representation of, of the wisdom, man. Okay. You know? Okay. So it says that the oil is, is with the wise, man. And, and, the, and the wise have, have the wisdom. You know? The wisdom of your house and that shop. And that treasure, that treasure is kingdom. That treasure is, is being able to, 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 to discern and to be able God, that the wells with the righteous because as you can see in the GOCC and the IURC and the ISUPKs and the ABCs and the EFGs, they don't have it. Verse 21. But it says, it said what? It says, it said, uh, but a foolish man spends it up. A foolish man is going to spend up his substance. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to uh, use it till he has nothing. Hold on. Hold that whole scripture. Bring up that Sirach. And this is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 21 and verse 8. He that buildeth his house with other men's money is like one that gathereth himself stones for the tomb of his burial. Huh, man? So you, you, you pretty much built your own tomb, your, your own your own grave by using by falling after these the men's money. Shit. Uh, using know? other, like it says, using other men's money, trying to build upon the foundation that's been set up and then trying to take it as your own. Trying to use somebody else and try to save yours it doesn't work like that. You can't, you can't build on, on, on other 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 uh, platforms or other you foundations. Build, you can't build on another man's foundation. Uh -huh. God, if, if the Lord set a man up in a specific spot, that's his spot. You can't come overtake him and try and try to build on that and put him out of work. Hey, that's what Esau did. God, that's that's the spirit of Satan. God, the devil covetousness, covetousness, man. God. You know. And uh, just to back that up, I got a scripture for that. This is Habakkuk chapter. 2 and verse 7 shall shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shalt be for booties unto them because thou hast spoiled many nations all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein so like verse 9 woe to him that coveted evil covetousness to his house that's the point that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. You know, so hey, it just goes into how Satan led himself with thick clay, all right, building upon another man's foundation, all right, of bloodshed, all right, uh -huh. greed, envy, strife, uh -huh. all right, which you should not do, man. And Jake following that same mindset, you know, Jake, hey, you, you, you go, you go, you, you listen to Jake, he'll talk about 50 laws of power. 48 laws of power, yeah. the art of war. Same Sue reading all these books, but they don't want to read the scripture. You know, they want to learn how to be covetousness and be evil and how to manipulate the next man, but they don't want to. They don't want to be a just man, man, a righteous man, and wait on their turn, man, wait on their ministry, wait on the Lord. God. And uh, 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 like the brother just read, man, said America's going to be that place that's going to become become his booties, man, basically goods. You know, all right. Hey, why? Because basically, what would all right, let's just say America is a house, right? And that house go for foreclosure or go bankrupt. All right, shit, what the bank go come do? They going to come to get that shit. Man. Right. Everything that you own, you know, a car, uh, uh, whatever, the microwave, whatever, all every, all the ends and ups, man. Hey, China's doing the same thing, man. They're going to do the same thing with America. That's why you see different little setups over here, man. Uh, uh, matter of fact, Tyson Chicken is one of them, man. Mm. You know? China been doing land grabs. Gone. They've been purchasing uh, real estate over here. Gone. And I think that's... Go back to the California wildfires, man. Gone. Gone. Yeah. You know? Mm. And that, that, the, the conspiracy rumors on that about, oh, China owned California and stuff like that very well may be true. Yeah, hey, gone. I, <laughs> I, I used to hear years ago that China owned America. So they were like, yo, well, welcome to the United States of China. Hmm. Gone. Because yeah, China hey, owns the majority of the debt of America. Gone. Uh, Rapper Young Dolph, you said, I ain't going to America no more. I'm going to California, man. Which differentiated that uh, California wasn't a part of America. So just like the brother was speaking on, wherever part that stand on, man, hey, hey, it's something going on with it, you know? Uh, damn. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. This is back at uh, Proverbs 21, verse 21. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy.
find his life, righteousness, and honor. All right, says who? He said, he that follow out the what? Righteousness and mercy. So he that follow out the righteousness and mercy is going to find life, man. That's why that's why that's why we doing this. That's why we doing the works, man. So we could have long, long, long lives, long days, man. Yeah. You know, you follow out the wickedness, or you trying to uh, manipulate somebody else's mind or beat covetousness. Yeah. That's an evil work. Right. You know, you gonna be led to death ultimately. Uh -huh. You know, you're not. It's not gonna be life for you. It's gonna be death. Uh -huh. All right, because you're you're trying to be. Uh, you got the spirit of Satan on you, man. Right. Just trying manipulate, to, trying to deceive, uh -huh. deceive. You can't deceive a true man of the Lord when his mind is right on his shoulders as it's supposed to be. You'll just be a rambler and a talker, and you'll be somebody that eventually you'll become a scoffer and a mocker. Uh -huh. uh -huh. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 51, and verse 11. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai, shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall attain gladness and joy and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I, even I, am he that comforted you. For art thou that, who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die and that the son of a man which shall be made as the grass. Come, oh, man. Come, man. That's, and, and that's what, Psalm 37, fret not thyself because of evil doers, because he shall soon uh, with, uh, be cut down as the grass, man. So. We, we ought to turn to the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shah because that's our stronghold now our town. Hey, and fear not them who can kill the body, but fear him that can kill the body and soul in, in hell, man. Uh -huh. And this is hell, that low condition, all right, under the sun, all right? And who can do that, man? Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. All right, so you want to fear the, the creator, all right, not, not the creation, all right? And that's what our people fall subject to. They worship the cre creation, not the creator. This is... um. Proverbs 22 and 4, it says, By humility and the fear of the Lord Yahweh are riches and honor and life. So by humility, by humbling yourself in the fear, in the respect of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that's when riches and honor will come unto you and life when you submit unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And it's going to make you alive. That life is going to make you uh, alive in the spirit. It's going to quicken you and make you alive in the spirit. Because our people are walking around here dead but alive. They're dead spiritually, but of course, you know, physically walking around as as uh, as the as the sign of per se life goes, but spiritually they're dead, they're not quickened. And Jake seeks after this righteousness, but he's proud about it. You got to humble yourself until you how about Shimia Osha. And in that riches, the kingdom, the spirit, the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding of Yahweh about Shimia Osha will be added unto you. Uh, this is the book of James 4 and 10. Humble yourself, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Uh, uh, just building on what the brother with Nicole was just saying, man. Just humble yourself first. Uh, yeah, and all these things will be added unto you. Uh, all right? Because uh, the Lord deal with the meek and the low. Uh, those of a contrite spirit, man. So that's the cross scripture, huh? You know? You can't be uh, high-minded in this thing. You know, you always got to be willing to uh, learn. Right. Um, Let's see. Bring that song up. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 16 and verse 11. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. One more time, Mark. Come Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Huh, this, this, these are our pleasures, man. You know, this is this, this is this is what we seeking after, man. This is what gives us joy. You know, you know, lift the spirit up, man. You know, this is what we are are, are, are striving for, man. The scripture says it says striving to truth, uh, striving to the truth to death, man. And the Lord gonna fight for you, man. And that's what we doing. That's what we doing the work, man. We we have we, we showing fear to the Lord, man. Hey, no servant is greater than his master as well, man. Just as our big brother was had to go through this persecution and had to go through that strength, right? He was exalted on the right hand, you know? So we seeking that right hand, man. You know, that righteousness of the heavenly father, man. You know, not the left. You know, our eyes being single and our goal is, is the kingdom, man. You know, so it's like Yahweh shot. He humbled himself. Look where he got riches now. He humbled himself in a good fight. 
he humbled himself in the spirit of Yahweh by Shah Shah in the fear, the respect, the honor. And look at him. He's sitting on the right hand of the heavenly father right now with riches. Come on. And that's and that's that's the goal, because what the scripture also talks about, um, I'm not I'm not sure where it's at, but it says that that Yahweh by Shah Yahweh Shah is gonna beautify his people, man. You know? And, and that's what we that's what we waiting on, man. We, we, we waiting on to be beautified, to be glorified from the Father and the Son, man. You know? We keep telling. But this is on the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6 and verse 16. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your soul. But they said, We will not walk therein. So come on, man. Two thirds of our people, they're not, they're not trying to seek out the old path. They're not all looking for the old ways. You see what I'm saying? They out here pertaining to folly. You see what I'm saying? But when that day of destruction come upon them, it's gonna come upon them as a thief in the night, and they're gonna be had in derision. This is Proverbs chapter twenty-two, verse five. It says, "Thorns and snares are in the way of the froward. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from them." So, thorns and snares are in the way of the froward. The word froward means perverse. Our people, two thirds of our people, they are perverse because they have their mind here. So they have a lot of thorns and uh and uh snares. They have a lot of a lot of a lot of hard times and traps that get them caught up in this place because they're they are perverse, they're perverse in their mind, they're, they are perverse in their spirit. But it says, He that does keep his soul shall be far from you. How do you keep your soul? By removing your mind out of the midst of Babylon and lining up or subjecting yourself unto your how Bahashim Yahweh shot. This is how you keep your soul. This is how you keep from being caught up in the things that are here. This is how you will keep yourself from being destroyed by this place that will destroy you with the sword destruction. Right. Hey, once again, going back to Jeremiah 51, man, flee out of the midst of Babylon. Man. You know, hey, not physically, but spiritually, mentally. Right. Yeah, right, this is the book of Isaiah, uh, Hosea, chapter four, verse six. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. God, man, he said, what the brother was just saying, man, uh, our people, they, they don't they don't reverence the Lord, how about Shem Yahushua, they have no knowledge. They're, they're what? Engaged in folly, engaged in fun, the funness of this world, going to different uh, God, concerts God. and doing things, studying and going to different seminars and Liminars and other, other <laughs> stuff like that, man. Not, not, you know, focusing on the scripts. Hey, come on, come on. That perfect, man. Preach up. Uh, uh, this, is, this is Isaiah chapter 66, verse 4. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes. And chose that in which I delighted not. Nah, man. He said he was going to choose their delusions. You know what I'm saying? What the brother Barack was just saying before, he was in the in the car with one of his, uh, uh, you know, with some jakes. He said uh, he was just breaking down the uh, the uh, chariots to him. You know what I'm saying? He, when the, whenever the Lord come back, he going to think it's aliens, man. <laughs> just, uh, just utter foolishness, man. You know what I'm saying? Just things coming upon the earth. People going to be walking down. People going to be... You know, running down on uh, different people running through your house, man. You know what I'm saying? In the night, in the night, they're going to be like, you're going to hear like a growl, and they're going to take a tiger out there, man. It's just your mind confusing you, man. The Lord's going to have you bogged out. Yeah, the delusions are going to be real heavy heavy on our people, man. You know, they're going to be they gonna be falling out the, the things of this world and, 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 and be caught up with the, and, and be caught up with the underwears, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But those, those delusions is going to be, uh, it's going to be tainted on their on on mind, man. You know? Pretty much being able to not hear or see uh, what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is, is, is pretty much given given to them, man. You know they're gonna be it's 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 uh, how would say institutionalized uh, with the world. I'm gonna say. You know what I'm so, I got a piece, sir. Uh, this is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I fear lest by any means as a serpent beguile Eve through his subtlety. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity 
that's in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So hey, be fear, you know. I believe this is uh, Paul speaking, all right, on how he feared that you could be uh, beguiled, you know, hoodwinked on the simplicity of this damn devil and his wine and his philosophy that's raging throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, because it's, it's simple what the Lord want to do, man. You know, it's his pleasure to give you the kingdom, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? So, hey, that's the serpent beguiled Eve and, and turned her away from, from the truth, from the spirit. All right? You know, hey, we're hate for that, for, for two-thirds of our people, man. But it's going to happen, man. That's the that's the lot. Verse 4. For if he that c cometh, Salaki. And that's the point, you know, in verse 3. Salaki. Right, you ready to bring out um, Luke 21 and 34? Right. Uh, come on, this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 34. And it reads, And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering. Suffering? Suffering. Uh, uh, surf, 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 and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unaware. You can bring it out one more time with Bakasai, a little, a little more clear. God, this is the book of Luke 21 and 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering. Suffering. Su 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 suffering. I'm going to get that in the blue letter right quick for Bakasai. All right. And it says, suffering, G2897. And it says, the getting, the giddiness, the headache caused by drinking wine to excess, excess. cut suffering, you know. So just the excess of wine, which caused a headache. So you can start that verse over from the top of the show. God, this is Luke twenty-one and thirty-four. And take heed to yourselves, he said. Any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting, right? The rudiments of this world, right. you know, uh, always having your mind uh, meditating on the things and the fashions of of, of this world. It's, damn devil philosophy all right you're gonna be overwhelmed you know suffering you're gonna it's gonna cause a headache man you're gonna be drunken you know you're not gonna be so sober and, and, and be upon your watch to see what's going on pertaining to prophecy all right you're gonna be full of drunkenness you got it out and drunkenness and cares of this life and so that they come upon you unaware so it's, 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 it's gonna come up it's gonna come upon you with unawares man so you're not gonna know when it's gonna come upon you. You're gonna, you're gonna be left without. You're gonna be left with, with, with a, a, a tormenting mind, man. Dismayed. Because the scripture says that um, it says that um, your, your sorrow is gonna be multiplied, man. You know. You don't, you don't want to, you don't want, you don't want to, you don't want to have, you don't want to have to be in that in that situation, man. God. That's why we say turn back. That's why we say repent, now because this is the time, man. That goes back to uh, uh what we were speaking on earlier, man. Uh, Sirach five and seven. Uh. In thy, in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed, man. So whatever you think you're safe in, hey, shit is going to cave in as a breach, man. Shit, why you sitting there thinking you're safe in that safe haven? Hey, as they say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes, man. You know? And they're saying that in many different forms and fashions right now, you know? As far as the money, economical system, medical, you know, so forth and so forth, man. Hey, peace and safety. Guess what? Hey, this shit going to come in as a breach, man. Y'all sitting around... Cool by y'all thinking everything good. The next thing you know, shit. Hey, all hell breaking loose, man. Oh, that, 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 that brings me back to what? Um, the, the, uh, the time of Noah. How they was out marrying and, and, and you yeah. know, yeah. drinking yeah. And, and having folly and foolish yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then what? And then what happened? That the flood came, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is um, <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 23, verse 6 and 7. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. Uh, do not sit at the king's table, man, and eat his meat. Uh, you know? Verse 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. So that's what Esau do. He's going to be like, yeah, sit down and drink, yeah. Have your mind caught up in this place. Yeah, you want this, you want that. He gonna tell you to enjoy and indulge yourself. But when it come down to it, his heart is not with, with you. He don't have your best interest at heart. He's seeking a way to destroy you. And 
That's why you have all these philosophies, beliefs, doctrines, and so forth and so forth. That's why the Lord saying in his scriptures, flee ye out of the midst of Babylon. Get your mind out of this place because it is not a benefit. And it's Sirach chapter 12, verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Or any such as come nigh wild beasts. Right. And Esau is that beast, that brute beast. All right. So who will pity a charmer? We, we steady come out here week in and week out. All right. On a unicorn. Uh, uh, casting out the word in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But our people still want to follow this devil. They still want to fall subject to his madness. Still want to go and get his mandates and all these things. You know? They want to eat his meat. So, so who go pity when they get bitten by that serpent? Exactly. Right. You can't... You you know, you can't, uh, you can't, you can't, you can't uh, garner no sympathy or want somebody to feel bad when you out here playing with danger. Right. If you playing with fire and you don't know what you're doing, you will be consumed. If you playing with a gun and you don't know what you're doing, you will, it will discharge and pop you or somebody else. And the thing is, when you play with a gun, you don't even got to know what you're doing. You know it's dangerous. Exactly. In itself, you know? So, you know, yeah. <laughs> so it's like hmm. the people is going to be left without excuse, man. You know, you're not going to be able to say that you didn't hear of, of, of an Israelite or being an Israelite, all right? Well, the Lord was a so-called black man, you know, that a, that Esau, being a so-called uh, Caucasian race, is the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. Yeah. You ain't going to be able to say, well, I didn't know, because you know, I was I was like, well, throw your ass over there to that fire real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I got a quick interjection, what you said on before. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 16. Verse 15, study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shame, sh sh shun profane and vain babylons, for they will increase unto more ungodliness, man. Come on, man, that, ph that philosophy, man. You know, going unto Egypt. You know what I'm saying? He's telling you about uh, a stringy hair at Edomite uh, instead mm. of telling you about the true image of the Lord. I'm saying you go these other these jakes going into Dr. Umar talking about CPS. <laughs> you know what I'm saying instead of going to the uh, to Boston to Tahar asking for real answers, man. It goes back to what manner of conversations you gonna be in. Man. That's why I said shun, man. Shun profane babblings, man. It's profane. It's no. It's no real profit. It's no real um, value in it. It's no value. <laughs> it's no benefit to your spirit, your soul. It's not a benefit. Nobody, like, for real, like, one time I, I went to the grocery store and I went to save a lot, and Jake was talking, and when I got up there, the first thing he wanted to start talking about is football. I'm like, at, at the time, the, the mindset that I was in, I'm like, bro, this, this, this place going to go down. He talking about, what, what you know about that football? I'm like, bro, I don't care about that right now. Hmm. So, like, we Israelites. Right now, we need to be getting in order. Uh, That's what I said to him. And he was like, oh, uh, I was like, well, just just scam a fool, bro, so I can leave. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, like, like, I don't want to talk about no football, man. You know? Yeah. Hey, man, God, people are caught up. They, they caught up with the affairs of this world, man. They caught up in, the, in, the, in the, uh, these just, these uh, distractions, man. It's, it's a bunch of uh, distractions here, man. And our people not paying attention to what's really going on. God, it is vexing, man. That's the, just like it vexes a lot, man. Vex with the uh, filthy conversation of the, of the wicked, man. You know, because ultimately you got a job and Jake be talking folly, but your mind thinking about, you know, the word of Yahweh Shema Shah, you probably meditating on something, or you thinking about something the damn Edomite boss said and shit, you know, that Jake, other Jake didn't even get or understand spiritually. I just, man, you know, damn, this damn, this, this a devil, you know what I'm saying? But everybody else okay with what's going on yeah, here in the building. Clark Kent mode. You know, you gotta be in Clark Kent mode, man. Like, <laughs> Jake wanna come out to you and talk about folly, man. Yeah. The hell with that, man. You know, and and then and then, and then sometimes you you have to you have to patronize Jake a little bit sometimes because you might have to say something to him about the truth. Yeah. But, but most of the time, Jake, well, I ain't trying to hear that. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about that. You got to catch them by gal. All right. All right. You know you got to talk down <laughs> their lines, their alleyway. You know you talk sports because you know you once was a, yeah. watching it part of it. You know, but it's it's not of interest no more. Yeah. Reset. Wait up. Oh, this is Ezekiel thirty three. And 31, and they come unto thee as the people come, and they sit before thee as my people, 
and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth, they show much love, but their heart goes after their convictions. So come, man, they sit here and act like they down for the word. They sit here and act like they down for the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai. Hey, but it really shit, they go on after their own wickedness, man. As we was talking about in Isaiah 66 and 4, man. Hey, shit, they, they choose to dwell in where the Lord delighted not, man. Also in Isaiah 65 and 12 as well, man. Where the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, is going to number you to the sword because of that. Why? Because you chose to dwell in where you delighted not, man. He's going to number you to destruction because the last Egypt, the Lord delivered all of Israel. And what happened? Moses went up on the mountain, and these mother hubbards immediately started worshiping false idols and doing the things that the Lord did not like. So he had to tell Moses to get down off the mountain and come correct him because he was going to destroy it. That's why we have in this Egypt, the Lord is going to redeem the ones that are righteous, the hopeful remnant, the hopeful elect, the one third men, men, women, and children, and 144,000. And he's going to do away with the two thirds because so that so so it won't be a repeat of the first Egypt again. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter 13, and verse 11. Is that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep? For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Come on. One more time, huh? one more time. Come on. Yeah. Right there. Come on. Verse 11. And is that knowing the time, it is now high time to awake out of sleep. Hey, and, and sleep, man. Our people are asleep, man. Spiritually dead, man. Pertaining to what? Revelation 11, verse 8. All right, their dead bodies are lying in the streets, man. You know, not physically, but just walking zombies, man. Not knowing the Lord. Not knowing that they are righteous people, man. And that eventually all these other nations is going to serve them, man. For right. so now is our salvation nearer than we, when we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So it says cast off, it says, cast off the works of darkness. What? You know, how about you said told us to be holy, man? Holy means to be what? Set apart. So set apart from this world, set apart from this wickedness, man. You know, we're supposed to be on the, we're to be on the right hand side, on the righteous, on the righteous side, man. Shalaki, you know. But it says cast off the works of, of, of what? Of darkness, man. The work, the, the works of iniquity, man. Oh. You know. Hey, you can't do that without knowing the name of the Lord, are you actually? Yeah. Hey, scripture, hey, Second Timothy two and nineteen say, let those that name the name of the Lord depart from iniquity, man. So therefore, if you're not called upon in the true name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Keep swimming in your bullshit. Man. Uh, you go keep swimming in your bullshit. <laughs> it does. That's the delusion, right? That strong delusion that the Lord is going to keep you in. Go on. And, hey. and the Most High, He's keeping our people in this, in this Babylon folly. He's keeping our people in this foolishness. That's why we are out here to say so. They can't be like, well, I didn't know. Now you know because you heard it. We out here week in and week out, day in and day, well, day in and day out. In season, out of season, cold, hot, raining, you know. Of course, you know, we don't be overly righteous. You ain't going to go out in a blizzard or a tornado. But the word of the Lord, <laughs> Yahweh, about you know, shot out here. So when Yahweh shot come back with that heavenly host, you ain't going to be able to say that you didn't know. It's the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived, but continue thou in the things which thou has learned it has been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them and that from a child thou has known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in, which is in your house man that's what we're trying to work towards man that salvation all right so as you're trying to continue on the things that we learn man being coming into this thing as newborn babes putting off the old man all right creating a new creature all right, and running from then on, man. All right, to, 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 to the end point. All right. And that go back to uh, what we were speaking on earlier, man. Sirach chapter 4, verse 28. Strive for the truth and to death, and the Lord should fight for you, man. So when you go into that word strive, it means to fight vigorously. Man. So literally, fight your ass off for the Lord. He's going to fight for you. Oh, All right, any more Come on, all right. Uh, this is uh, Luke chapter 17. 
starting at verse 26, man. All right. Because these are the times that we're in, you know. This is the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shams, find the call, man. Yeah, hey, so with that being said, hey, if you don't take heat now, you have to get it later, man. Hmm. All right. Luke 17 and 26. It says, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drink, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. child the way he shall go man you know but it's a, a lot a lot of a lot of folly man a lot of a lot of death is going to be upon israel man you know but it's a beautiful thing that the lord he, he rather hey, take you from your own demise and your own destruction ultimately to bring you back righteous man you know that's a new creature man <clears throat> this is proverbs 23 and 12. it says apply thine heart unto instruction and thy ears to the words of knowledge. So you apply your heart, you apply your mind, your thoughts to the words of Yahweh You apply yourself to his instruction because this is what's going to keep you from the hour of temptation, from the destruction. You got to apply your mind, you got to apply your heart, you know, and you got to bow your ears, you got to listen to Yahweh Yahweh You got to listen to the men that he set up. You can't, you can't go and establish your own thing. You're not going to be able to get to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai with your mind in this kingdom. Precept. It will not work. And I want to add on too, you know, the scripture says in Proverbs, it says, with all thy getting, get understanding. And this is a time of information, man. You know, we're supposed to be seeking the, 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 the know our powers, man. To know who we are. You know what I'm saying? To know what our status and our, our commandments from the, from the power is, man. Doing that mission, man. So we we sit on that mission to tell these people like, hey man, tighten the hell up. Uh, we only fishing for the neck ultimately, but we gotta uh, go out and uh catch that uh that line. Oh, okay. Like this quant like the quant always saying, man, always passing that line, seeing what we're getting, man. That's all that well, we all just getting a certain type of fish. That's all that is, man. You throw, you throw that you throw that buzz that buzzer fish or that, that one that ain't really Throw that shit back in the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 That old fish. That, 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 that sturgeon, that catfish. Yeah. You got to you 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 throw them back. Yeah. Yeah. You got to throw them back in the water, but you keep the trout. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the bass. Yeah. Keep the bass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, 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 yeah. yeah, you keep the flounder. You, you, you keep the grouper. You know what I'm saying? You keep the snouts. But you get rid of the abominable thing, meaning once you fish out to a sea of people, you know, because we thought that, like, us out here teaching, we throwing the net out. But when you, when you when you get ready to gather in, you're going to pull in crabs. You're going to pull in oysters. 
shrimp. You're going to pull in a lot of different things, but you're also going to pull in what's right, too. You're going to pull in the, the things that are clean, and you keep that, and you throw the, the abominable back into the water. This is um, Proverbs 24 and 3. Through wisdom is in the house building. And by understanding, it is established. So through the wisdom of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushat is a house building, your temple, your body, your mind, your love, your heart is building. Through wisdom, a house is building. And through the understanding, it is established. Through the understanding of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushat, knowing what we're supposed to know, we are established. We are made solid, solidified, and solid, rock solid, and unmoved. Hey, that priesthood, that's strong. That holy priesthood, man. You know, we better learn them in the throne, man. Getting that wisdom and knowledge and that understanding, man. You know? And you can't get that with having your mind what? Here in Babylon. Can't get it. Can't get it. And that's why we that's why we seek in the Lord constantly, man. You know, throughout throughout our times, man. You know? Hey, time is short, man. That's why we say repent, you know. Get that understanding, man. Get get, get all that you need, man. Because what Again, Isaiah 33, 33 and 6 says, Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding will be the stability of our time. And if you don't have that, and you still call for these pleasures of this world and this place, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna be caught up with those unawares, man. Destruction, man. When the breach, when the, when the breach that's ready to fall falls, you're going to get caught up. You ain't going to be able to put it off. And, and, and like you say, like, as the brothers pointed out earlier, all the folly that's going on, they, they, they are they are oblivious and if they are not oblivious they are trying to uh distract their mind from what's really going on you know i, I was you know i talked to a little i talked to a, you know, a nice young woman and she was saying something i was like i had to tell her hey no you can't use things to distract your mind you got to pay attention to what's going on so that it don't mess you up that's what you call uh the roman bread and circuses man you know hey they got uh, uh, uh as you uh can see tomorrow the Super Bowl, all right, hey, which is going to be a hey, shit. Ain't no telling how many different laws and shit they go pass tomorrow, man, while you out there watching the goddamn halftime shows. <laughs> you know, uh, 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 shit, hey. Pretty much so, so, the, the, the prophetic commercials. Hey, yeah, right? con. You know, hey, it was a couple years ago, uh, it was your boy, uh, Ashley, you know. Nah, uh, what's his name? I want to say, we not ASAP, but, uh, we can. but basically, But basically, he had a, 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 a commercial. It was asteroids coming down to the Earth. But when they showed the Earth, they had the uh, continent of America showing. Man. You know, but the asteroids, hey, we all know that's in the know. Those asteroids represent those missiles, man. This, oh, this bitch ain't finna get hit by no damn uh, 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 asteroid. Oh, that, that was Playboy. That was Playboy music video. Uh, Migos was Con. similar to that, too. Gosh, you know, missiles that you put on the VR headset. All right, Travis have, Scott. Yeah, yeah, Travis good. Scott situation. Then you have uh, what's the uh, uh, comedian guy? He hopped out on the crosses for the blessing. Uh, Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan. Gone. All right, he had the uh, State Farm commercial last year in the Super Bowl. Oh he yeah, gone, 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 gone. All right. So hey, the, 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 the signs is there, man. You couldn't even take the meat off the bone. You know, you look at the things through the spiritual lens. You know, according to the word, according to what's written, according to what's being taught and preached out here through the. Righteous men for the Lord and stop the apostle to haul them down. All right, you catch like ourselves. So you just be on the watch, man. The evidence is out there, man. The biology, like the brother said, the bread and circus, man. The Coliseum, which is going to even rock more people to sleep, man. The Super Bowl, right? You got these uh, five days coming up. Oh, you got uh, B Day coming up. That, yeah. that, that, uh, they don't call you. Yeah, call you. Call you. Call you. Call you. Good on you. I got my glasses on. This is, uh, Proverbs 12 and 11. He that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. So when you till your land, you're going to be satisfied with bread. When you get out here and do the work of Yahweh Shah and be obedient to him, you're going to be filled with bread. Hey, con, she like you. Hey, because what, hey, what, what you till the ground for, man? That way it's a seed can be planted or a plant can be planted, man. So therefore, you tell your goddamn mind shit. Hey, the Lord y'all watch me, y'all shine to plant this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in you, man. Oh. But other than that, shit, your ass hard hit, man. As they say, shit, that's why you gotta till that ground. Man. God, like I said, 
he that followeth, but he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. So two thirds of our people are void of understanding because they follow vain people. Who they looking up to now? They looking up to Jay Z, Beyonce. They looking up to these new these new age rappers. I don't really know them. Um, they looking up to everything. They looking up to Martin Luther King. They looking up to to, to, to Maya Angelou, uh, uh, Harriet Tubman. You know, they looking up to all the Marcus Garvey. They looking it up does, to all does. these people. But their causes at the time it it, it, it was vain. It was useless. God. Hey, they looking at the wrong icons, God. You know, hey, uh, 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 you know, you got the prophets as before, all right. But most ultimately, looking back at the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, you know, hey, the most, uh, 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 what's the word, uh, not trendsetter, but uh, uh, role model, man, that we God. should be going after, following after, man. You know, huh. it's the book of Second Timothy, chapter three and verse, it's like chapter four and verse three, for the time will come. And they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having each itching ears. You know, so they go and run up into these, they run up into men that they like, all right? You know, or, or respect, having respect to persons instead of going to who the men, who, who the men, who the Lord set up, man. You know? Because, hey, at the epistle, you're going to have to resort back, you're going to have to resort to the source, man. So who got, who got the breakdowns? Who got the mystery? You know, that's who you're going to have to resort to. That's who you're going to have to get it from, man. Because that's who the Lord gave it to. Wow, wow, man. Not going to Dr. Umar. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, on that whole Egyptology. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he over there talking about, he give, he give his honors to Fred Hampton and uh, Marcus Garvey. And, and they, you know. They really, don't. You know what I'm saying? They not, they, they're not even on the, they're not even in, in, in the world of the living anymore. Neither is Dr. Umar. That nigga is a <laughs> just like the uh, whole team, man. Just yeah. came on the scene on YouTube to collect money and rob the people. Man. Hey, come yeah, on, where that school at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he and, and that's that. And what he did was fraudulent because he don't have a school. So and he got people following him. That's vain persons. And anybody following vain persons is void of understanding. The two thirds of our people, they are void of understanding. They don't have any knowledge or any wisdom. That's why they are caught up here in Babylon. And when we try to tell them, they don't want to listen. All right, man. But the Lord going to make them listen. All right, man. Going back to them each and ears, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't have no knowledge. They going to these, these, these guys, man. They don't got it. And that just lets you know also that we're going to the time of famine, too. Um, not the famine of bread, but the famine of uh, hearing the words of the Most High, man. It's just like uh, my brother Athanyaro was just speaking about. You know, they're going to be they're going to be looking for the source to hear the truth, man. You know, because uh, the famine of the word is going to come like the brother was saying. And you ain't going to be able to find it nowhere else. Because they, they, they ain't no, they ain't going to be running the IUIC. They ain't going to be running it to, 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 to GOCC, ISUPK, ABC, and EFG, and all the rest of them, them, them uh, uh, House of Saul camps. Because they don't have it. They don't, got it. They don't have the water. They got the sinews. And the muscle on their body, but they don't have the life within them, right. to, the breath to break down the scriptures and to teach our people to what? To tell them to get their mind out of this place. They're just talking, they're just talking heads, man. That's it. Physicians of no value. Hey, I, but they uh they uh uh, uh eat a camel and sh a straight out, out of the neck. neck. Oh yeah, come on, come on. Three seven. And it's Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. So come, man. Hey, not only is the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah bringing the famine, yeah. all right, but He's also bringing the famine of the word, man. Because why? Because this is the only thing that's going to suffice within that time, man. Going back to Isaiah thirty-three and six, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times, the strength of salvation, man. You know. So with that being said, you got uh, uh, Isaiah sixty-five and uh, thirteen as well, man. Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. All right. That's physically and spiritually, man. Yeah, hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey, God, man. Hey, 
hey, hey, behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall uh 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 basically hey, uh 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 lament, lament man. Hey, you're gonna be out here crying. Hey, the table's gonna turn. Because hey, it's, it's better to be in the uh house of mourning than to be in the house of murder. And right now we in the house of mourning. All right, a hey, prophesying the downfall of this simple kingdom, man. And once this place is done and, and done away with, man, we gonna rejoice, man. You know, and then the people who believe, believed in this place is going to be in mourning, man. You know? Hmm. Uh, this is the uh, book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, and verse 26. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. So in that day, we ain't going to be out here on the highways and byways prophesying. You will come with us, ch chipped all up in the hand, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. You know, we're going to... What you talking about, bro? You know hey, what I'm saying? Hey, hey, you or, might take them away. <laughs> yeah, all your presence. You know what I'm saying? Or, or like, like you say, make our, what do you say, make our tongue clean to, to, to the roof of our mouth. Mm. Meaning, when they come up, the most high might have us in the mindset to where we just want to protect our family or any Akium that are with us at that time. So it's like they come up, hey, man, and we be like, hey, look, I ain't got time for you right now. I got to do this. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Or the most high might just have it on us where we just like, I ain't going to tell you nothing. You should have listened when it was time, time to listen. To listen. Hey, now, now, now you you want to listen? It's too late. It's like this: don't don't learn how to fight after you get in your ass. <laughs> I don't got no. I don't have no more. I don't have enough oil for you. Yeah, spitting it up. Yeah. <laughs> I got a precept. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter twelve, verse one. Remember now, thy Creator, in the days of thy youth, for the evil days come not. Though the ears draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. All right, man. What the brother was saying, man, I, I don't got nothing for you. Hmm. Right? You know what I'm saying? Remember the creator in the days of our youth, man. He, he's available to you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey what was that rapper that said, that said, that said you know, they got nothing for you? What was his name? They got it. I don't know, but, you know, the song goes like, he, he was saying these hoes ain't got nothing for you. But in that time, the men of the Lord ain't going to have nothing for you. you know gonna have nothing for you hey you might you might run up on a dude you might run up on the brother and ask him something and the lord might change his language right then and there he might think he's speaking english but to you it might sound like he's speaking something totally different hmm. or the most high may put it on the brother he see he, he see you coming and the most high might decide to put it on the brother and have that brother take off Right now, but I'm gone I ain't the mess with you hmm. he might you know for real like you don't know so it's best to listen now this is a uh, Sirach chapter uh, 3, verse 26. It says, A stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last, and he that loveth dangers shall perish therewith, therein. So a stubborn heart. Right now, our people have stubborn hearts. We tell them to remove themselves or get their mind out of the midst of this place. You know, and they choose not to listen. They choose to be stubborn. So guess what? I've been doing it this long, shit. Ain't no need for me to stop now. Exactly. Hmm. So guess what? They're gonna they're gonna fare evil at the latter end. They're gonna suffer the destruction and the judgment at the latter end. And because our people have a stubborn heart, and they play with transgression, which makes them love's danger. So guess what? They're gonna get their fill, and they're gonna perish in that danger as well sure. because of their minds are here in Babylon. The second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the lot of time shall dwell in the world because they walk in great pride. You know, and, and, and as the brother was speaking of, man, hey, it's going to be great miseries brought into some of you, man. Hey, two thirds of our people, and also these heathens as well. Why? Because you're walking with your head held so goddamn high that nobody can't tell you that, man. <laughs> Especially a lot of people, man. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? They feel like they fucking know it all. All right, then we try to tell them something. Oh, yeah, man, I already knew that, but we ain't no shit. So I ain't even get through explaining what the hell I was saying, man. <laughs> so how you even think you know what I was about to say, you know? Hey, so that being said, Scripture even say, hey, examine the whole matter, man, you know? So therefore, you want to hear the whole discourse of the problem or whatever the case may be, the situation, you know? So listen, that's why we out here. The Lord got us out here so you can listen, so that you get your mind, what, out of Babylon, so you can flee out of the midst of this place uh, 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 spiritually and mentally, so that when you see things going on, you're like, okay, yeah, this is a problem. The Lord said this is gonna happen. 
but our people bug out at the first sign of something going wrong. You know, they go to the store and there might not be no more blue crayons. They're going to lose their mind because they, they can't get no blue crayons because their mind is here in, in Babylon. Um, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. It says, Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. So it says, What? Let him that thinketh that he standeth. Man, a lot of our people think that they, they're, on, they're on high ground. They feel like they, they, are, they are covered. They feel like, you know what I'm saying, they're on a strong foundation that they ain't gonna fall. But it says, It says, Take heed lest she fall. So if you're not taking heed to what's been said right now, you're gonna fall. Uh, yeah, it's Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You know, so you can't go off your own vain opinion or your own mind when it comes to the truth or your way out of this place. All right, you gotta go according to what's written, man. You gotta figure out how. The Lord laid things out for it to be done and run into and, and figure it out and see who is doing that the right way, the correct way. All right. Wow. But, uh, okay. it's, 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 it also says what a man's goings are of, of the Lord, you know, you know, whether it be righteous or whether it be wicked, you know, you how about some y'all shots, you know, who controls everything. Man. And this is this is the book of Matthew, chapter 25, and verse 1. And it'll be a, a, a little quick read to verse 13. All right, just this is a quick parable on what the the, the, the ten virgins, man. Five were wise and five were foolish. And this is verse one. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps, while the bridegroom tarried. They all slumbered and slept. Right. You know, so hey, like the scriptures say, throw a Terry, wait for it, man. You know? Hey, woe, woe to the man who lose patience, man. You know? Verse 6. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, and right, right now we in the times of the trimming. All right, where everybody uh, doctrine is being weighed in the balance and being found out if they're teaching according to the truth or not. If they have sound doctrine or not, all right? And then you got just two-thirds of my people that they didn't even take their lamps to begin with, man. Hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, they ain't even, even pick up the lamps, man. Fair. You know? At all. It's like you go camping and you ain't got no camping gear, but you finna go camping. <laughs> so so I'm going to jump to the verse 13 and just end it off. You know, watch them for, for ye know neither the day nor the hour when the Son of Man cometh, man. Oh. And he's, hey, what manner of conversation y'all to be in? Always meditating what coming, hey, into, dwelling with prophecy. All right, being upon our watch, man, so we don't get caught off guard, so we can be in the safe haven of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, we can be a part of this salvation, more so part of this destruction. Uh, this is Sirach, chapter 6, verse 37. Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. So you let your mind be upon the ordinances of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Meaning you, you, you keep your mind on the scriptures, you know. Meditate, meaning you think about this, meaning you keep your mind on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and not in this place. That's why it says, let your mind be on the ordinances of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and, and, and meditate upon them in his commandments continually, meaning all the time. And when and he will establish your heart and give you wisdom of something that you may, may want or need to understand according to his scripture. He don't say keep your mind continually on the on the book on the BS of Babylon. Uh, I got a quick precept. Uh just going into that watchman. All right, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. 
Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right. You know so we give we give them explicit uh, warning from Yahweh Bashi man. You know what I'm saying? We are the mouthpiece of the Lord doing the work while he's not here, man. Being part of that messenger. All right. We sent sent out uh sent out uh throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, uh test testifying on the Lord's behalf, man. What's to come? The said perils just the what's to come, man. Like Lauren Hill said, man. Protect me from the uh, perils that's to come, man. And we are we're doing this for our souls, man. Our souls sake. Doing this for the work of the Lord, man. If you're a man, like Zaquan say, all the time, if you're a man, you're supposed to be testifying. Uh, all right. Giving a testimony uh, of Yahweh by some Yahweh shot. Uh, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, right. and, and with that, too, to accept it, you got to put out the old. You know what I'm saying? I got a quick up on this. All right, Con, this is the book of Matthew 9, verse 17. Neither, neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break. And the wild running out, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be changed, man. You gotta uh, put out that old, man. You can't mix the two. What, 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 what is it in James? It said, uh, uh, sweet, sweet water and bitter. Oh, uh, a fountain cannot put both, put both, both sweet water and bitter. All right, man. And that in itself, man, you can't, you can't have two and one. Right. You either gotta have one or the other, man. You either hot or cold. There's no in between. You know what I'm saying? You can't be straddling the fence with this thing, man, unless you want to you make the Lord angry, man. Oh, I'm serving two masters. Ah, uh, serving two masters. That's called being lukewarm, trying to straddle the fence. Uh, you, the Lord would rather you be hot, mean be on fire for the truth, or be cold and not do the work than to try to be like, to try to be in between. There ain't no gray areas with you. How about you, Mel Shot? It's black and white. Like the white and left. God, Lord, see you. The Lord, see your slackness. Uh -huh. you know? laziness towards him you know the scripture say seek him ten times more man. i don't know and it's also uh, a renewing of the mind you know we, we, are, we are renewing our mind from scripture man you know so we can have a uh what a sound mind uh, it's all about endurance all right and just being patient man and enduring in this thing you know coasting you know but we all run the race, but run that we may obtain, you know? So, God, I gotta put this up. Now, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter one. I'm gonna start at verse 20. Wisdom cries without. She utter her voice in the streets. All right, God, man. Uh, uttering that voice in the streets, man. You got, it says, she cries in the chief place of concourse. In the openness of the gates in the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? Oh, all right, come on, man. Right around you in the part today, man. All this simpleness, man. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, couples giving in marriage, you got people having picnics, uh, going to get some, having ball fights and stuff. You got football, and they're playing kickball, soccer ball, things like that. That's simple, man. The Lord don't care about none of that. And it, it ain't like that after they done with that, they go go and watch a video uh, and see what the Israelites was talking uh, about today, you know? It's not like they're going home and, 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 and studying, and reading the scripture, on. you know? And the scorners, the light in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. All right? Come on, man. They don't, they don't reverence the knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Uh, they still going to go back to that old wine at the end of the day, you know? All right, so, so we should have switched gear and then for, for a second. Yo, we, we just finna, we finna go on that end of the lesson and we finna go on to another, another topic. Uh, we hope this lesson was edifying. All right, we just gonna get straight into it. All right. All right, did somebody grab uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1? The coffee shop. And 
Can somebody else grab Amos 5 and 19? This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. It says, Remember now the Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. All right, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially today, when it comes to uh, Jake living their day to day lives, not reverencing the Lord, not remembering the Lord. Not remembering the heritage, where they come from. They don't care about it, man. They care about what they got going on now. What the brother Amawan lesson was about, man. You know, they 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 they're so worried about the the, the funness of this word, the fatherliness. They just care what they have going on. They don't care about the spiritual. They don't care about the things they cannot see. They care about the things they can can see. And this is the book of Sirach, chapter five and verse one. Set not thy heart, right? Your love, your mind. Upon thy goods and say not, I have enough for my life. Follow not thy own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. And say not, who shall control me for my works? For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. Pride, man. He says he's going to revenge that pride. All right, these brothers out here, man, they want these, 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 uh, it was, used to be these Hummers, now it's the Hellcats and SRTs, Porsche trucks, you know. These guys want Balenciagas and you know, uh, Ashton Morris, Alexander McQueen's, but they, they're not worried about knowing the breakdown. They're not, they're not worried about who the real Israelites is. They don't care about what the Lord truly looks like. They don't care about things like that. They care about what they can see. Oh, man. And if I may add on, that's why Scripture says the wisdom of this world is foolishness unto the Lord, man. You know, the things that people have on their mind, all right, on their law, first and foremost, is foolishness, man. You know, it can't even equate to the knowledge and wisdom of the Lord. Yahweh, watch you, Yahweh, shot, man. You know? Nah, man, it can't equate. Because everything now is just, it's, it's nothing compared to what's in the heavens, man. We got planets. We can't even put our mind what, 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 what all we go receive, man. Nah. From the most high. You know, you talk about, hey, you say planets, man. Hey, you going to pre prepare a place for you, man. Nah. And in his father's house, there's many mansions. Nah. You know, so, hey, you thinking about uh, being able to enter into the Shemayans and coming down to where? These heathens gonna be dwelling, all right, and, and, and hey, being in the likeness of men, all right, hey, just being in control of all fashions of of, of the spirit, man, and the elements, man, having power, you know. Now, what's the? Uh, can somebody get the uh, earth is my footstool? The shot. You got that piece up. Uh, this uh, second Ezra chapter four, verse twenty six. Then else did he meet and said. The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world hastes to fast to pass away. So come on, man, this place is constantly, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Vastly passing away, man. You know, quickly, all right? You know, hey, and two-thirds of our people can't comprehend, man. Also, these people too as well, man. All right, why? Because, hey, they're going along right with the world. As the world passing away, their ass going away right along with it, man. Why? Because they're trusting into it. A hey, friend of the world is an enemy unto the Lord. Yeah, we'll bless you, yeah, we'll all right? Verse 27, it says, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities, you know. Hey, as the brother was speaking on, man, hey, can't comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous, man. You know, hey, in my father's house are many, are many matches, man. You know, hey, so with that being said, hey, they can't fathom the things that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is preparing for us, you know. Hey, shit, we can barely get a grasp on it, you know. Hey, why? Because, shit, that's something, hey. That's literally out of this world, man. You know, hey, we can't really speak too much on it. Appreciate it. Uh, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter seven, and verse three. And I said, "Speak on my power." Then said he unto me, "The sea is set in a wide place, that it might be deep and great, but put the case, the entrance were narrow, and like a river. Who then could go into a sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow." How could he come into the broad? You know, so hey, ultimately you gotta go through the straits. You gotta go enter in at the straight gate. And there's only one way to your how about Shimia was shot. It's only one way to that way of righteousness, man, that kingdom. All right. And it's not the way of the world. All right, it's the way of your how about Shimia was shot. And that straits is what? The straight and narrow and affliction. All right. No servant is greater than his master. So we have to 
cast off this world. We're not, we're not abusers of the world. We use the world, but we don't abuse it. All right. And that's ultimately what Yahweh Shah did. You know, we walk in these same footsteps, not being abusers of the world. All right. Again, like the brother stated, man, a friend of the world is an enemy to Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah. All right. So hey, we we're not of the world, man, even though we're in the world. All right. All right, man. And somebody uh got that uh earth. I'm about to earth real quick. That's my switch to it. This is the book of Acts, chapter 7, in verse 47. But well, Solomon built him a house, albeit the most high dwelling not in temples made with hands, and said the prophet, Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, said the Lord? Or what is my place of rest? Has not my hand made all these things? Come on, man. The Lord's hand made. You want to speak on that? Oh, come on. It says, uh, not my hand made all these things, man. And there's, there's many other uh, galaxies uh, uh, that's, that's way beyond our comprehension, Gone. even when we see it here on Earth. Gone. Hey, and if I may add on, I was just reading an article this morning where it says, hey, we found something new in our solar system, man. And it's an Earth-like planet, hey, that they think can possibly hold life, man. Not mm. yours, though, but hey, <laughs> it can, man, but hey, not these mortal bodies, you know? Gone, man. You know what I'm saying? Earth-like planet. So it's, it's, a, it's different types of planets for each brother's life can, you know? Many, many mansions in the Father's house. Like the Lord say, I go to prepare a place for you, and in my Father's house are many mansions. All right, man. He said many, many mansions, bro. And the Lord is out there preparing it for us. You know what I'm saying? We just waiting on that time. We waiting on that time for the Lord to come back. You know? He got a reward for us. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 2. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves. God, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I said the keepers of the house shall tremble, man. Somebody could get the uh, uh, Revelation 7 where it says... Uh, uh, hold back the wind. Mm. Gone, man. Because right now, man, it's just that grace period, man. Mm. Just waiting on that time. Soon as it hike up, it's at that peak, man. Everybody is going to be crunch time there. Mm. What they call it. What these, uh, you know, Edomites call it, man. When, when stuff hit the fan. We're just waiting on that time. Somebody got that. Yeah. Oh, this this yeah. is Revelation. Yes, chapter 7, verse 1. Yeah. It says, And after these things, I saw four angels standing in the four corners of the earth uh, holding the four winds of the earth uh, that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea uh, nor on any tree and i saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living power and he cried with a loud voice to the, to the four angels uh, to whom it was given to to hurt the earth and the sea saying hurt not the earth nor the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the service of our power, the how about some y'all was shot in their foreheads. Come man. It's, that's that's basically what we're waiting on, man. You know what I'm saying? As soon as it, as soon as, you know what I'm saying? That's over, boom. Hey, what's oh, the elected seal? Oh, what's the elected uh, seal? Then it's, then it's crunch time. All hell is going to break loose, man. Hey, hey, and men, men is being marked with this word as we speak right now, man. You know? And what Revelation seven lines up with what Ezekiel Ezekiel nine and four, all right. And it's the book of Ezekiel chapter nine, in verse four. Then it reads, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that saw and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And the word mark there in uh, in Ezekiel nine and four is what the walk meaning exempt from judgment, you know? So by this truth being preached out, all right, men, is, uh, men are being marked, whether it's for righteousness, for, for salvation, or it's for judgment, man. Ultimately, uh, equating to Revelation 7, what the brother was just speaking on, and what the brother just brought out in regards to the four archangels holding back the winds of destruction, man, until every man is marked, all right? And once these men is marked from hearing this word, all right, and once the elect is sealed, then all hell is going to break loose, man. Nah, man, in that day, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be all terror. 
It's not, it's not going to be any light in that day. No good. It's going to be no good now. All right? I mean, in that day. You know, only good is going to be the men of the Lord. You know? And rarely, these people are going to even run into the men of the Lord. If they can find it. Son, that's what what the feminine of the word, what the uh what the brother was talking about before uh, in the previous lesson. Is it Isaiah uh in Isaiah 32? Uh he shall make a is Isaiah 32, man, man, 32, 32 is Isaiah 32, he shall make a man more yeah. precious than fine gold, man. You know? Even that. a gold of old fern. It's a gold, uh, it's a old fern it's like this regular gold here in America, all right, which is not compared to the gold that's in the Shemites. All right, you're dealing with what, uh, these these damn uh, cheap alloys here, man, of 24K, hmm. 22K. All right, we're going to have the purest form of gold, man. You know, our streets are going to be paid with gold. All right? I guess we're going to build them, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your 1,000-year sentence, your 1,000-year prison bid, Esau, all right, pertaining to Obadiah 1 and 18, hey, you're going to be mining gold, man. You had our, you had our people you know, picking and mining cotton, man. You're going to be mining gold. Right, precious metal. Gonna make, very yeah. heavy. Right. We're gonna make sure you got whole blocks of it on your back, man. Right. We're gonna make sure you walking upstairs with it, man. I'm gonna have you doing some dumb shit, just rubbing cactus for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, just hot that bitch. Me, I'm, time. Like, when I come get you, I'm coming to get you at the heat of the day, at the top of the day when it's the hottest. That's when your ass will come work. Hey. <laughs> Come on, and guess what scripture say? That heart should meditate terror, man. So we just sitting back all thinking about the bullshit to put you through, man. <laughs> this is Isaiah chapter 32, verse 2. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind. <clears throat> and and they represent destruction. Uh, going back to Revelation 7 and Ezekiel 9 and 4, what the brother was just speaking on. Uh, is, and a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind, and they covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Just said, but yeah, in that time when things when all hell break loose, the men of the Lord, the righteous men, are gonna be a hiding place because a lot of women are gonna flock to a man because they're gonna need protection. The Lord's gonna put their behind back in order as they should should be. And the man is gonna be a protection from the destroying wind or from, from the things that are gonna happen, a covert, a covert uh from the tempest. It's gonna be like a river in a dry place. And a shadow of a great rock. I mean, it's the men, of, the men of the Lord are going to be uh, uh, a protection for 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 those who are cleave unto them, oh, especially that? women in particular. <laughs> this is Psalms chapter ninety-one, verse one. It says, "He that the wealth and the secret places of the Most High." shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So this is what? He that the well of them, he that, that, that what? The wells in, in, the, in, the, um, in the temple of righteousness, the temple of Yehovah Shem Yahusha, all right? This is what we, we'll be able to be, uh, what? Under the shadow. The shadow is what? Protection of Yehovah Shem Yahusha. You know, the wings, the cover. They got, they got the walk. That mark of exemption. You know, so that's supposed to be what you want to, you want to be, if you want to be marked with anything, you want to be marked spiritually with the exemption of, of judgment, man. You know, and that's hey, that's the crying and sign, prophesying the downfall of the civil kingdom, like the mother stated earlier. If you are a man, all right, you ought to be given a testimony, man. You got a testimony, you ought to be testifying. Hey, Con. Hey, because the prefix of the word uh, 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 of the word testifying goes back to the uh what I want to say, Greek, which means testes, which literally means balls. <laughs> so you gotta have cojones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta have cojones to do this thing, man. Yeah, confident, bravery. You can't, you can't, you can't be an old effeminate, uh, uh, soft-spoken guy out here. Oh well, no, that's not entering into the kingdom of your heaven. Exactly. You got to be bold like a man. The Lord requires us to stand up and testify. G O C C T. Teaching about mermaids and shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you 
know, on, you know, you know, it, it, it is true that the Lord has creation on this earth that we have never ever seen before. You know, but right now, that ain't that ain't the God is that yeah. get us into the kingdom exactly. of heaven. God, <laughs> That's not the topic of discussion. It don't real, it don't really correlate yeah. right now. The spirit right. of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy. Yeah. Oh, hmm. God. <laughs> talking about this new monetary system that they're going to implement God, and they're going to slap in the people's hands or in their foreheads yeah. you know that's what you need to be talking about this is amos chapter 5 i'm gonna start at verse 18. it says woe unto you that desire the day of the lord yahweh to what end is it for you Man, to what end is it for you, man? You know, especially uh, with these Christians, you know, waiting for waiting for the day of the Lord to come back. The Lord's not coming back for y'all, man. Y'all calling on a, a pagan deity, man. Y'all paying pay homage to Baal. In that, they're calling upon themselves destruction. They, all, they love to say, I can't wait for the Lord to come back. You do not understand. The Lord, when he come back, it ain't finna be rainbows, ponies. He ain't finna be giving out sandwiches and hugs. He finna, he finna be giving out a hot, fiery foot off in the ungodly's ass. It is what it is. Yeah, laser beams, man. Uh, What's that? Uh, um, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5? Uh, this is the book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 17. Hey. Uh, Right. Uh, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a fair metal, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. All right, man. Every way, every way man. You know what I'm saying? You running. You running to a lion. You got to run again. You out of breath. Me, try to lean on the wall. The serpent bites you. You know, you know, running from the judgment yeah. of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? The Lord gonna get you. Either way, it's gonna be like final destination, man. Yeah. That's all. That's where they got that movie from. Description. Because hey, Lord, y'all watch me outside. Got your name on that bunny shit. Yeah. Right. Right. It's the book of Saint Matthew, chapter ten, verse thirty-four. Yeah. Not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Right. So, hey, just like the scriptures say, man, what if I already be king? The Lord loves controversy. He's coming to uh, lay, lay things in order and put things in his proper perspective. You know? So, hey, being so, all right, hey, the Lord ain't coming to be a uh, happy go lucky, <laughs> you know? Charlatan. Yeah, yeah. You know, like that uh, false image of, of the Messiah that, hey, he saw even the wicked has cast it out through the four corners of the earth of a blonde hair, blue eyed, peace hearted. Uh, yeah. The Lord is not that, you know. The Lord is is is, is austere, serious. Mm -hmm. He coming to 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 show that he not playing. Alright, man. He's coming for his people. He's coming back for his people, man. Mm -hmm. So we can get Isaiah forty-five and seven. Uh, we go to Isaiah chapter forty-five and verse seven. I pour the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I to go through all things. Oh, man, the Lord does all these things, man. The Lord created spirits for vengeance. You know? And it's, it's peace about that in Proverbs, I believe. And also, if I may add on to as well, all right? You got two thirds of my people, all right? Uh, most of these goddamn Christians, okay? Uh, oh, yeah, hurricane come, whatever the case may be, tornado, whatever the case is, they deem it a natural disaster, all right? Oh, the Lord, please send it away. I mean, I mean, this, that, and third. Hey, that's what's it. Man. And more than likely, you probably see the people you're wicked at. <laughs> Why? Because you're you're not taking need to. So that point, he's stirring up that butt, all right, to get you up on edge, all right, that point, so you can open your eyes a little bit to try to see what the hell going on. Man. That way, you can open your ears a little bit so you can hear what the hell going on. So you can try to at least hear, oh, somebody trying to whisper to you, man. But really, that's the whisper. That's the mouth of God, man. <laughs> that the Lord, y'all were watching, y'all was trying to find out to you through the mouth of his prophet. You know? All right, man. Uh, Romans, verse 21. Romans, not verse 21. It says, Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto 
this on his mind, man. So the Lord is creation of all. The Lord do whatever he will. Man, what's that scripture in Malachi? Malachi says, um, uh, it's, uh, but it also speaks about how um, that they are about you know, to create a spirit uh, to be destroyed, correct? Uh, you know? So, you know, uh, you know, destruction is coming upon this place, man. Uh, Alright, well, we get uh, Daniel 4 17. This is uh, Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. It says, This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the Holy to the intent that the living. May know that the most high rule in the kingdom of men and, and give it to whosoever he will and set him up over in the basis of men. All right, man, the Lord does, does do it, whatever he's so pleasing. He even said, He saw the basis of all men, the lowest or the lowest, the scum of the earth upon by the children of Israel, man. Going back to that prophecy, man, of uh, Deuteronomy. You know, it, it was prophesied now that Esau would be the head and uh, Jacob would be the tail. All right? But that is going to be switched over, man. And that in this time, if we are in the times of the Lord's vengeance, of the Lord's coming back and flipping that scale, having that divine intervention, to have Jacob on top like Esau on the bottom, man. All right, let's look at the second. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 8. He said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, from Jacob and Esau were born of him. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. Right. And that, that was written. And in what Genesis 25? All right. We were day birth to those two twins that were born of him. Right. So it's all a day, like the brother said, from the spirit of the Holy Ghost, you shot. All right. So they felt it was symbolic. But, but Jacob hand down the hill of Esau at their birth. I'm right, showing you that these times is going to be what? A changing of the guard. You know, like Mark Twain, would, Mark Twain said, but right, the changing of the guard. Verse 9, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob was the beginning of the eternal father, right? Because this world was made for many, but the world to come is for you. Right? And, and that world to come is, is, is a rulership of our, our Lord and Savior, our shot. All right? And we're, we're 144,000 men, all right? I want to be a part of that number. I want to be a part of that government. I don't know this world was made for our sins. Hey, and not these heathens, man. You know? So with that being said, hey, y'all can keep raising because shit not going to be given. You know? All right. So with that being said, Lord willing, this special was edifying. And once again, we want to give our praise to the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son in the proper two nations. He can tell. Come, come. The Lord, 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 I can't. 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 I